So, creep show. Yeah, show would be me. Tell me about the big fucking dome uh, stadium in Los Angeles or whatever. Oh, okay. So there's a big sphere in Hello, Las Mario. Vegas. <laughs> Hi, Defender. How you doing? <laughs> and um, so there's a big sphere in Las Vegas that you can just walk into, and it's a concert venue. And you too is playing there tonight. Oh, 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 yeah. That shit looked like the Thunderdome, dude. Dude, uh, the fucking visuals inside that shit. I need to go to a show there so fucking bad now. That literally looks like the Thunderdome, but like in Hello, 2023. Mario. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. Here I come. Booyaka. Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Giraffe Estev. <laughs> I am the long, lethargic, robotic leader of the Long Boy Club for life. Uh... And you know what? I am the very large enjoyer of all things uh, gaming, wrestling, other hyperfixations, and my stinky cat. Uh, tonight, we are doing a big, a big fat uh, wrestling uh, bracket fight. Thank you for the serotonin. Well, yes. <laughs> we're doing a big old, we're doing a big old bracket fight, and I'm joined by Creep Show. Oh, well, yes, I'm joined by Creep Show. Hello, Chad. Did you know that Brian Kendrick was WWE champion for like a minute? Huh? Have you ever? Okay. Have you heard of that shit? <laughs> okay. Hold on. We're going to go straight into the sharing screen so I can Google this. Give me a second. <laughs> Ignore this. Ignore this. This is not important yet. Uh, Hold on. Just keep ignoring it, Chad. Keep ignoring it. Don't look at it. Keep ignoring it just for like two seconds. Da, 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 da. Where's my shit? Where's my shit? There it is. Uh, okay, there you go. You can uh, you can look again. So Yay. hold on. I'm looking this up right the fuck now. I was so upset that you were using the PNG because I couldn't give serotonin. Hey, hey, listen. Listen, you can give serotonin to me. It's so good. You can give serotonin all you like. Brian. Kendrick, WWE champion. He won what? Hmm. WWE champion. Okay. What? Hold on. Oh, wait, I've heard about this. As part of 2008 supplemental draft on the edition of, of the August 22nd SmackDown, Kendrick won a 10-man battle royal to qualify for the WWE Championship Scramble match in Unforgiven. Uh, Kendrick won the uh, the um, uh, WWE Championship title at the event, though he did lose minutes after having the longest reign as interim champion. So the so only he was WWE champion for like a minute. <laughs> so the only reign as interim champion. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. You know what? That's still a few reigns less than than I'm AEW, so. <clears throat> yeah. As Kendrick was not the final interim champion, he never officially held the title. He later teamed with with uh, Jackson on many occasions. What, Ezekiel Jackson? Zeke, big Zeke! He later teamed with Jackson on many occasions, becoming number one contenders to the WWE Tag Team Championships held by Carlito and Primo, but they never managed to win the championship. <laughs> Yeah, no, the Bri they were trying to push the Brian Kendrick as like the next Shawn Michaels, and it did not click at all. Hmm. Well, I don't know if uh, I know Shawn Michaels really ever spread like weird conspiracy theories, so you know he's got him beat there. You know, totally valid. Totally valid. But you also, know, hi chat. Hi chat. How you doing? <laughs> What are your thoughts on Jade Cargill and WWE? You know what? Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Anyone who doesn't think that's, you know, really cool for her is really strange, I think. Hello, Mario. Hello. <laughs> I play games sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that name. <laughs> I love it, too. Welcome. So my, my take on Jade Cargill, she's main eventing WrestleMania within the next two years. She's uh that. Okay. She's not that great in the ring, but my God, her is like a character and her presence. She's main eventing a WrestleMania. Here's the thing. Like me, me and Zach talked about this and he's like, oh, well, she should, she should stay, stay in, uh, sorry, stay in, sorry, stay in a developmental for like a two years because her ring work isn't that good. And I'm just like, that doesn't matter because 
because like on the main roster, work rate does not matter as much as it does in AEW. It just I, I was, <laughs> it doesn't. I, the whole thing, the whole thing is presentation. It's all presentation was, on the main roster, really. I was gonna say the argument falls apart when Nia Jax is on the main roster. I, I was about to say, like, listen. Regardless of how of how green you think she is, she will at least have a better work rate than Nia Jax, you know? Like, if she's oh, yeah, called easy. up right now, she will have a much better and safer work rate than Nia Jax. Easy. Easy, easy. Although, that being said, I could probably walk into the ring right now and have a better work rate than Nia Jax. <laughs> Yeah, because you're not gonna you're not gonna break somebody's nose. No, no, but uh, no, but I'll probably break my neck because uh, you know high spots are difficult. That's true. Caitlyn was big muscle woman with mid promo skills. I'm surprised you remember Caitlyn at all. I I remember nothing about Caitlyn, but I first I that that has been a thing for years where I'm like, why is the wrestling community like so so all over Caitlyn? And I'm like, I I didn't. I didn't get her. I really didn't. What are like wrestlers that you guys didn't really get? I'm honestly kind of struggling to think of a few because like, uh, can I give you my petty one? What a uh, Brit Baker. No, no. First off, fuck Brit, Brit, Brit Baker. I hate her, That's but no, so, um, <laughs> I thought I read your mind there for a second. No, no. Um, in a way, in a way, I don't get Kenny Omega, but I also get Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega is, in my opinion, probably one of the better like in ring storytellers of like the past decades. I really, really just kind of enjoy the way that either like a, the way that he structures his matches, especially in like singles capacity. I don't oh, really yeah. think there's anyone better at like a, creating a story out of a singles match than he is. Yeah. So, I mean, like he's literally said that like. His uh, main, sorry, his main um, inspiration in wrestling isn't even wrestling. It's stuff like comics and movies and shit like that. So, and and here's the thing, like he's a massive re- nerd. <laughs> a, a, a lot, of, a lot of things in wrestling were inspired by like, um, <laughs> were were inspired by things like movies and comics. Like, holy shit! Um, part of Kenny Omega's character is the one winged angel. It's based off Sephiroth. So, bam, there you go. Mm-hmm. Um, I love how also, like, yeah. his little jacket literally has like a little one wing on it too. It's it's it, it's so good. He's it's such so a good. fucking dork. I love him. Uh, and here here's the thing of Kenny Omega before we before we really get going. Um, I I don't know if it's like me not fully understanding Kenny Omega after years of watching him, or if it's me just like God. Can the people who are all over Kenny Omega's dick like shut up for five fucking seconds about him, please? Nope. No. No, <laughs> because I'm one of those <laughs> because I'm one of those people. <laughs> no, that, that that that's fair, because that was that was me with Bray Wyatt for like a good eight years of my life. Hey, virtually guy, let's see if you can get it. Here we go. I'll say I'll stand real still for you. Ah, ah, uh, pony up that 10. Give me that 10. Y'all y'all owe me tenors. So many of you owe me. T- so many of you owe me. Hello, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> my chat, inbox chat, is open just send it just send it <laughs> Ch- chat who's who's on the 10 i forgot who's on the 10 oh. is it andrew jackson no that's the 20 <laughs> fuck who's on the 20 who's on the 10 u.s i can't believe i i've been a u.s citizen my entire life and i don't know who the fuck is all on the bills Oh, it's Thomas Jefferson. Yes, um, please mail your nice, crisp Thomas Jefferson, please. I'm going to, like, actually lose my shit if it's not actually Thomas Jefferson. I'm 1,000%, like, just blanking on, like, wrestlers that, like, you know, they're really popular, but, like, I just don't get the appeal of. I'm, like, just completely blanking. Can I pay in food stamps? You know what? Uh... As long as you uh, stamp them on some food before you send it out. Oh my God! It's Alexander Hamilton. No, damn it! <laughs> I don't know who my presidents are. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, uh, Benjamin Franklin wasn't a president, and yet he's on the most valuable dollar bill. 
So got and and I love the look that he has on. Alexander the Hamilton is on the ten dollar bill, and on the heart of every weird nascent queer girl in 2015. You're so smart, <laughs> Giraffe Homunculus. That's why we have you around here. <laughs> You're. That's great. Isn't he so smart, Chat? Oh, this this horrid uh, this horrid adorable abomination is so smart. I know he's so good. I just wish he wouldn't eat all the Cheetos. God, yeah. His room is crusty, dude. Encrusted. It's like a fucking spider's web of Chester Cheetah. It's terrible. <laughs> but, uh, you know what isn't terrible? Uh, wrestling brackets. <laughs> because uh, tonight, uh, this is something that me and Creasio have been talking about uh, doing for a few weeks now. Uh, Look tonight, at shit. Tonight, we have compiled 16 of our favorite wrestlers, and they are as such. Those Cheetos are a shade asset. I bought the last three bags. Fuck you. <laughs> That's why I've been getting calls from Kroger. Uh, Creepshow, why don't you tell me the ones that you picked for our great so, spectacle tonight? You got it. So the wrestlers I picked tonight were Hiromu Takahashi, who is a very decent, like, high mid-card guy out of New Japan. I, I love Hiromu Takahashi a lot. All right. Um, another one I picked was El Generico, who we, we, we all know who he is. Um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I, he's a very kind man, and he has an orphanage. So, you know he's, what? He's a, he's a very kind man in an orphanage, and unfortunately, the orphanage burned. Um, uh, well, hopefully he can rebuild it. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully. Um, but I, I, I adore El Generico, and he, he and his feud. Oh my god! I just realized there's a chance we could get Kevin Steen and El Generico. That oh amazing. yeah, that would be <laughs> fucking sick. I almost want that now. <laughs> um, I'll rate the matches so we get it. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I that was my favorite part of the Kevin Steen El Generico feud in like the early 2010s. I love El Generico to pieces. Alrighty. Um, I also picked Abyss because I am a sucker for like monster characters and abyss was a big one in the early 2000s i just personally enjoyed i also love that he got a little bit edgier in the 2010s but eh, that's just me uh another one that i picked was the undertaker and the undertaker is in my top three of personal favorite wrestlers of all time i adore the undertaker a lot that was like uh, probably one of the he was definitely one of the first wrestlers that like i was mesmerized by because i'm like wait a minute this guy was this guy's just a a dead person and he just wrestles <laughs> the fuck <laughs> and i was just so mesmerized by it and also creeped out and that's the fun part of being a wrestling fan as a kid um another one i picked for um my aew representation was a malachi black um also known as alistair black in wwe i absolutely love his in-ring work i i love his character presentation it's it's just so much fun to love it's, it's so much fun to watch also he's got probably with some of the nastiest kicks in wrestling and it is it is art it is genuinely <laughs> art it's art it, this is art I another one i picked what's oh, sorry go ahead i also don't get the appeal of scorpions rather scorpio sky you know what i'm gonna go with Ow. i'm gonna go with that one too <laughs> I'm gonna go with that uh, one too, frankly. Yeah, he w he wasn't my favorite part of um Hey Ooh. Drac with the four fucking Last months. day of September. La <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I completely I completely forgot it was September. Thank you very much for remembering for me, Drac, and thank you for the resub. I really now appreciate we have to get it, man. We have September and now we have to get ready for top Tober. Top um Top Tober. <laughs> I have oh, something planned. <laughs> top chat. Tober. Chat, I got something planned for uh, Toptober. You better, you better pay attention here within the <laughs> next few days because you better pay. It's coming. You better pay attention. Um. Anyways, uh, another one I picked uh, was Bobby Roode, who is sitting up there in a nice suit in the top right corner. Um. Hot take: My favorite NXT champion of all time. I uh, love the Bobby Roode's run as NXT champion. Bobby Roode was uh, was a champ around the time that I started watching it. And uh, he's probably like the most synonymous, like with that belt to me. Uh, so he was, he was such so an good. effective heel. Like he, it, it was, it was like so he good. took everything that he did down in TNA and he just brought it up to NXT. It was great. Mm -hmm. 
So, um, a couple more on my end. The Sandman, who, when I think of ECW, that is the first name that comes up. He can barely wrestle, but my God, he is the most entertaining part of ECW. Uh, oh, here we go. I'll stand real still for you, Defender. Ah, plenty. You get it? Well, you know what? Pony up, pony up your Alexander Hamilton. Give me my fucking Hamiltons. Just send it to like. Just send it to I Hate Monkeys, 69 Avenue. I really, really need it. I need this shit so bad. I uh, needs it. Um. But anyway, Anyways. Sandman, like, he can barely wrestle, but my God, when you see the man walking down to the ring to Metallica, holding a kendo stick, covered in beer, smoking Hello, a Father, cigarette. Daddy, Jerry, Fio, I'm Bilari King, and I need my Cheetos. <laughs> Spear, I don't think that's good for your health, B. Larry King. I, I, I don't, I don't think so either. Um, Would you accept Cheez Its instead? Because, because the homunculus already ate all the Cheetos. Anyways, um, but anyway, you you never forget that. Image of in his mouth. And lastly, the fucking Shockmaster. Um. <laughs> He didn't do anything really of no. His only like real big thing that he did was fall through a wall <laughs> and and just speak in like a voice box. Go, I'm the shock master. I just Fear love me. the glowing stormtrooper helmet will never not be funny to me. I don't know how they I, I don't know how they didn't get sued for this. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so Hi, funny. Henry. Hello. So that is who is on Hello, the creep show side of the argument tonight. Uh, Steph, who are yours? Okay, so I'm going to kind of go through these Fast and Furious. I will explain why I enjoy these guys in 15 words or less. All right. Oh, God, I should have done that. Uh, Kevin Steen. Uh, basically, I picked him to fight uh, Generico down here, but, um, uh, uh, but like just... I feel like in terms of like a Ring of Honor guy going to uh either going to a WWE, he is in many ways a sort of a complete package, I feel like. Like he has a very specific type of charisma and a very specific type of style uh that just like really, really connects with me. I always love seeing him in action. He's so uh, good. <laughs> I dressed as Shockmaster once at a convention. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Defender, that's that's fucking awesome, man. Live your fucking truth. Uh, Samoa Joe. <laughs> He's fucking Samoa Joe. There's Moving always on. more Cheetos if you raid Chester Chet's factory. He may be from the Savannah, but he sold out. Him and I are on the outs right now, okay? Not on good terms. We're not speaking with each other at the moment. Maybe one day. Uh, Minoru Suzuki. Um... Generally, I'm not a big fan of, like, uh, New Japan, or at least I don't follow it all that much, but he is, like, just uh, the one that stands out the most to me. I just kind of enjoy, like, the hard-hitting style. I enjoy his look. I enjoy... <laughs> I just enjoy seeing him in action. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Hangman Page. He fucking jockeys for position as my favorite at, as my favorite in AEW. Can along with John yet? Moxley. Well, you know what? It's fine. I will fucking stay determined, and I will continue talking about this, because Hangman Page, again, is far and away my top two wrestler in all of AEW. Um, I really enjoyed his uh, story arc from, like, from like uh, 2019 into uh, 2021. Um, I'm pissed off that they kind of squander his momentum a little bit, but that's neither here nor there. But uh, swerve. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really, really, really glad that he is uh, getting back into the main event scene again. So yes, uh, uh, Raven, <laughs> uh, Raven. I, uh, I enjoy kind of uh, the style that he went for. I enjoyed like his sort of a uh, brand of storytelling, especially in like the first few years of <laughs> of um ECW, um. Uh, Booker T, uh, probably like, uh, what now? My phone went off and it, 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 um, and it picked up the audio and I'm like, oops, sorry. One of the standouts throughout most of WCW, especially like in the latter years of its existence, 
Um, I Nothing would say. Beats a cool, refreshing sip of water. Yeah. I... Oh, hey, water. Hold on. Liquid. Um, Edge. Probably the first wrestler that like I really connected with uh, when I started watching. Um, I didn't watch him back when he was doing sex on live TV, but <laughs> I did. Ah, uh, he's uh, lucky you. <laughs> I, I I saw that episode live, and my dad walked in and was like, "You want to watch Cartoon Network, buddy?" Uh, <laughs> Chad is definitely trying to get you off track. They <laughs> they are. You know what? Edge, Edge, uh, the first, <laughs> uh, the first wrestler that like I really connected with, um, an LA Knight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this this was mostly a pick for my roommate, but I just. Listen, there's absolutely no one else in WWE that is like LA Knight at the moment, just in terms of like how he can uh, control rather a crowd response and just like the kind of uh, responses uh, that he can get and just how he's kind of a sort of a transition over from a heel to a baby face really without changing much of himself. Like that's really not something that happens in WWE too much these days, I feel like. Yeah. So, so yeah, um, I feel like that he is uh, the the best example of <clears throat> a mega star <laughs> in uh, yeah. in uh, today's uh, WWE climate. So yeah, uh, that's why I chose him. And we're gonna pit all city controls the homunculus for her own amusement and no other reason. <laughs> well, that's pretty mean of you. I mean, that's pretty mean of you, City Pop. That's pretty mean of you. You gotta you gotta let a guy kind of you know control his own destiny. Destiny. Although the homunculus, uh, although the homunculus doesn't really think about a destiny, so you know what you fucking you fucking go off. Uh, <laughs> we are gonna pit all sixteen of these guys together, and we're going to do it in uh, WWE 2K23 because uh, you know I feel like that we would stop being friends if we fucking if we fucking try to uh, debate who would win in these matches. So we're just gonna let 2K23 <laughs> do it for us. <laughs> Uh, we will all pit them all up against each other. Yep. Um, we will pit, sorry, we will pit, uh, these, uh, 16 guys up against each other until the last man is standing. Uh, depending on, uh, the match type, uh, we will also rather, rather uh, depending on the, uh, guys involved, uh, we will, we will, sorry, we will put in, uh, match stipulations and all that good jazz because, uh, when you get down to it, we have, we have how many matches here to fucking watch oh, at wow. least 15 so so we'll find ways to make it more more interesting along the way but first we got to set up the first one here hold on a second are you ready the only one i will lobby for not doing is iron man because my god that will take for fucking no no ever. no we are not doing iron man yes yes the homunculus is <laughs> The homunculus is a being of of a corporeal form. He can be whatever he wants. He can Isn't be whatever he wants dream, on any though? given day. What? Isn't that just the dream, though, to be whatever you want any day? I mean, that's a trans lifestyle, isn't it? Bingo. <laughs> do the women's one in Fire Pro. I want to find an excuse to, like, do Fire Pro on this channel at some point. Oh, my God, please. When you do Fire Pro, I need to be on for that. <laughs> I've had like a linger of an idea that's been festering in my brain for like a year and I would like to put it rather to put it forward, but mm, it would require Ooh. at least months of work. So, You know what? While something? we're doing this, I'm going to develop a women's list right now just for the hell of it. All righty. Uh, while you do that, we are going to take a short uh, commercial break here before... Uh, before uh, Mr. Uh, Bezos comes around and fucking smacks me. Uh, Raw rolls on after this. It's time for <laughs> 90 <laughs> seconds Cheetos break, my dudes. Sure is. Hell yeah. All right, cool. This gives me enough time to sprint to the bathroom. Yay. We have one minute. I can do it. Okay, go go do it. I am fire pro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 And like clockwork, get see. Always looking out for me, Ashley. Thank you. 
Like Illusion cool, of Gaia, we... Earthbound comes packed with a oh load of hints if you need them. Earthbound is an easy RPG. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this one, guys. There's nothing wrong with fun. this particular Gitsy. Earthbound has so many comic elements to it that Nintendo doesn't want you to give up on the game and never see those funny scenes. Earthbound is the first RPG to be set in modern times. You nothing save your progress by calling your dad over the telephone and refill your energy by eating pizza. Speaking of pizza, you can play the game with your left hand and eat pizza in the other, since the game can be controlled with the L button, which lets you talk and check otherwise known as search, and the control pad to move. Prepare to visit several places. A clubhouse. Arcade. arcade burger, burger shop. shop. And with oh that, boy, we gotta thank... And with that, we gotta thank all the people in the chat right now. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Creepshow. Hi. Uh, thank, oh, wow. you, thank you, Drac. Thank you, thank you, uh, Gen P. Fault. Thank you, thank you, um, I play games sometimes. Thank you, Kite. Thank you, Lumi. Thank you, City Pops, uh, Nelson Demifer, uh, Swift Storm, Virtually God, and Wee Demon. Y'all are fucking awesome for being here this early on. Uh, we have a fun night of action planned for you. We basically have our own uh, mini wrestling pay-per-view going on here, essentially. Uh, we got this. Oh, man, it's Survivor Series 98. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no. It's a deadly game. Uh... So yeah, we will start our festivities with the first in the bracket, which I believe is uh, Hiromu versus uh, Kevin Steen. So hold on just a second. Where are we doing this at? Um. Oh, God. I'm thinking for... Wait a minute, hold on. Oh, no, it was uh, Hiromu and Joe, wasn't it? No, 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 it was Hiromu and Steen. Oh yeah, you. I thought you said Minoru. Jesus Christ. Um, I mean, uh, Joe is also not facing Minoru, so <laughs> that's true. That's true. Um, so <laughs> you I'm, forgot your own bracket already. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, it it's okay. Um, I'm thinking what we should do is have that be Extreme Rules, and I genuinely think it should be Last Man Standing. Oh, last Man Standing matches in this game are so bad, though. <laughs> are they really? I mean, like, I mean, like, we'll do one, and I will show you. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. I, I almost want to do it like in the motion capture studio because I think that'll be funny. But, you know what? Sure, I'll give it a shot. You know what? We'll do NXT in your house. More, yeah. <laughs> more like an in your house. You know what? It's fitting. This whole thing will be an NXT in your house then, except for like one in which it will be in the motion capture studio. <laughs> fucking love in your house so much i love that stage all right so Here so guys i literally went through the trouble of like finding all of these guys i found i found like a time i found a time sensitive versions of these guys so so it isn't kevin owens it's not kevin owens who's fighting uh hiromu it's kevin steen i copied over the move set i copied over the stats I went above and beyond for this. <laughs> I went, I went way too far for this shit. So it, it, it is too funny, and it, it it's it's so good. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to, I need to make it a last man standing match. All right, last man standing. <laughs> and here we go. Me win lean. Me win no lean. <laughs> Me when no lean. Me when I have lean versus me when I have no lean. <laughs> <laughs> I just I I love I love the difference. I just love the difference. I I love that it's just it's just Kevin Owens, but like ten years younger and barely any tattoos. This right here is me when I turn twenty four. I finally become jaded. <laughs> this is me right now. <laughs> You, you and your millions of tattoos and your five um and your five replica belts. That's also me when you follow the Twitch channel, AO. Uh <laughs> Okay. Anyways. Cer cereal when no milk, cereal when Habs milk. <laughs> I love that so much. That's that's actually incredible. 
Also, chat, look at this jacket for Hiromu Takahashi. I love this jacket so much. I literally could not even believe that this was like what you were deciding on, too. Yeah. Because like because like I was like, my dude, you didn't like uh, give me a wrestler. You gave me like a Baldur's Gate uh a Baldur's well, Gate creature to fight. <laughs> well, look, it was e it was either Hiromu Takahashi or Okada, and I'm like, I'm not throwing Okada at you. I will I will say though, uh, for the most part, we uh we uh, got like all these wrestlers uh, together uh, without having to sort of get or rather get like a DLC. Uh, Hiromu was the exception. I had to buy like the Steiner pack <laughs> in Whoa. order in order to get like all the parts. Uh, that he needed on his custom character. I wanted, I remember wanting this Kevin Steen shirt when it came out so bad. It also shows like how, like how WWE kind of uh, toned him down a little bit. Oh yeah. No, no, see, it isn't kill Owen's kill. It's fight Owen's fight. <laughs> I also wanted that Kevin Steen shirt that had El Generico's decapitated head on the chair. Oh my, what the fuck? I've never seen that. I am okay. I'm sending this to you in Discord. Hold on a second, because this shirt was fucking awesome. <laughs> how we sounding, everyone? How is the other? How is the uh, game audio right now? I really wish that he was able to get like a second world title run. I feel like that he kind of got like a gypped on the Universal. Oh, I think he will at some point. Finally, when when fucking Roman drops the title at some point. No commentary, but the rest is fine. I turned off the commentary on purpose. We're commentating these matches, baby. <laughs> Hi, I, I call the role of Pat McAfee. <laughs> <laughs> I call the role of JR where I just take a nap on the fucking uh, commentary booth. What the hell? N no, no, no. Oh, no, no. You, you oh. Oh, I see. They literally put like the uh, doink entrance on him. <laughs> You're just wondering what the fuck is happening. That jacket looks like something I would see at like a Grateful Dead concert. What the hell? I fucking love the eyes. Oh my god. Oscar. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, they made a hybrid entrance. Okay. I don't know why they put doink in there. <laughs> Okay, so I can't find the picture of the shirt, but I found a picture of Kevin Steen wearing the shirt. So I'll just send okay. that to you. Okay. Uh, but but I'm just I'm gonna keep scrolling a little bit just to make sure that is. I'm the wondering case. if I can show it on Twitter. What? Oh wait, 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 wait. Hold on. What did you do? I accidentally picked uh, Kevin Steen to play as. I'm not supposed oh, to be no. playing as anybody. So. All right, there you go. I, I sent it to you. Got the no and dar fist kiss entrance. <laughs> you know what? I thought I thought that was Ricochet for a second. You are smarter than I am. <laughs> but no, here we go. Here we go yep. at NXT in your house. It's Kevin Steed versus versus a uh, Hiromu Takahashi. We took like a whole year off in like 2019 because he somehow broke his neck. Wait, wait, Hiromu? Yeah, he took like a whole year off because he broke his neck on a spot. Damn. Wasn't expecting that. Hey! No, he, he hey, Riff, how you doing? Hello. Now it's... <laughs> I, I, I love the little glass barriers. <laughs> <laughs> Repurposed from COVID. Uh, it's so good. So like, so, like, one thing about this game that's uh, really cool is that you can uh, change like the frequency in which like wrestlers are going to do certain moves. You can change that? Yep. So like I didn't know uh you could do that. Ow. So like you can have you know, uh, you know, guys like Rey Mysterio favor more high flying stuff. Okay. And have guys like Kevin Owens favor more sort of grounded stuff. All right, Ace, let's see if you can get it. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Hurry. Oh. Ah. Ah. Pony up your Hamilton. You know what? You know what? You know what would be a great birthday present, chat? All the 10 bucks you owe me. 
<laughs> all the all the ten ten dollars you owe me. Hold on. I'm so close. Sorry, I am Chad, so you don't close. owe me anything. <laughs> Hello, Mario. True. <laughs> <laughs> so so true, sister. I am so close so close to chills mode. I can taste it. Would you like to hear chills call a wrestling match? All chat? these carnival games are rigged. <laughs> Hey, I didn't say they weren't rigged. <laughs> Listen, it's a 2% chance. It is what it says on the tin. Look, look you're you're the you're the one who paid who you're the one who paid for a carnival game, okay? We we didn't we didn't tell we we didn't have a gun to your head to tell you to do it. <laughs> the gun to the head argument. <laughs> My god, there's a lot of so fighting much. on the outside. <laughs> Can can you can you throw Kevin Steen into the ring, Hiromu, please? I mean, it's a last man standing match. Doesn't really need to. <laughs> are you done? <laughs> are, are, are we, are... He's just going for a stroll. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Hiromu, please. This is. This is like a very hard Disco Elysium roll without quick save. Oh god, here we go. You f oh, there you go. Oh shit. And now Kevin Steed's coming back with the kendo oh, stick. Shit. He wants a piece of the Sandman later on. Oh, oh, he wants to meet Sandman in the finals. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh god, Sandman has to get through Edge first. Oh shit. I don't remember what... Sandman's stats are when I downloaded him. I so say he's just kind of a little brawler, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't really have like any wrestling to him. I <laughs> I wish contact Mike could be built. I <laughs> I haven't heard about contact Mike in such a long time. Thank you for reminding me of him. Oh my god. Uh creep show, are you aware of contact Mike? You know, the name sounds so familiar, and I am being flooded with flashbacks. Contact Mike is not a man. He is a concept. Uh, <laughs> um, in Disco Elysium, in one of the conversations... Oh my god. Really? Are you kidding me? <laughs> and he just got right up again! Fucking Hiromu takes one stunner and he's done. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, Kevin Steen literally just fucking Cena'd that match. Holy shit. He killed Steen. Kill. <laughs> Three stars. Eat my ass, Meltzer. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's on the good stuff. <laughs> he's on the good stuff tonight, brother. One stunner's oh all it takes. <laughs> oh my god, if El Generico wins the next one, I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> well, with, well, with that chat, we got to... We must return to our bracket. With that, Kevin Steen wins. And next, next up, is uh, Generico versus Joe. <laughs> oh boy, the... here we go. <laughs> but no, uh, Contact Mike is a character uh, that is uh, conceptualized by the main character in a certain conversation tree, right? Uh-huh. And, and according to him, uh, Contact Mike is a paragon of virtue. Uh, he's essentially he's essentially like uh, the greatest boxer ever, and like he's and like he's like this big fucking and like he's sorry, sorry. Yeah, uh, he's like this big fucking figure, and like and like uh, the main character just like keeps uh, talking to like the person that he's having the conversation with, uh -huh. <laughs> and she's. And she's like uh, talking about like a contact mic in terms of like you know a technology, and yeah. and she's like, oh no, oh no, a contact mic just, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'd rather a contact mic just like, uh, sorry, just uh, beats people up. Uh, he's just he's just, he's just yeah. there beating beating mm -hmm. people. Just come here. Oh no, I'm talking about, you know, a contact microphone. A uh, contact <laughs> mic just beats people up. <laughs> no, a con contact and mic like, just, just destroys. And like in your head, you're just creating like this larger than life figure 
that to your knowledge probably doesn't even exist. <laughs> what would you do Joe and Generico in? I don't know. False Count Anywhere? That works. I think False Count Anywhere works out just fine. It would be just dandy. Hi, John Cena. How you doing? I'm glad that I'm glad that that um Ashley remembers more about Disco Elysium than I do. <laughs> <laughs> you, it's a very I, very good game. I really I, I remember it. I remember very little, but I remember friends like just talking about it ad nauseum. Hey, there's El Generico. There's El Generico. Where's Where's Joe? Okay, so I downloaded two versions of Joe by accident. So oh no, we have. We have uh, Samoa Joe, and then we have Samoa Joe AEW. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that Joe is his middle name now. His name is just Samoa AEW. <laughs> Samoa AEW. That's his impact name, brother. Oh, boy. What's, what's Samoa, Samoa AEW, AEW doing, doing, doing in the show? impact zone? So. <laughs> <laughs> Point oh, out. Beautiful. Point out into the crowd. Someone will point back. Ah, oh, yeah, that right there is the crowd interaction. He vault. <laughs> he vaults the gap of affluence and privilege. Samoa Jack. <laughs> Samoan Much. Jack. Oh my God! What's Polynesian Pete doing in the Impact Zone? <laughs> <laughs> Polynesian Pete. <laughs> so we were we were doing that gag um with, <laughs> with friends Rick IRL. Jack. <laughs> and like we were trying to find a name for Samoa Joe and we just came up with Polynesian Pete and I'm like deal <laughs> alright cool bet that's the name now that's the name now Polynesian Pete I'm really upset that they didn't put Sammy's like original theme back in this game what the fuck I thought they did I don't think they did did they yeah they did they did they did when they, they patched it like uh, like two months ago and they threw in his original entrance back in. Okay, can I... Can I do something then? What you got? Samoa Jack 25% AEW. <laughs> oh, God. No, no, no. Don't, don't look at that. Don't look at that just yet. Don't look at that just yet. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look at it just yet. Uh, <laughs> I need to go and do something in that case. Entrance. I'm gonna do two things. Spare okay. serotonin, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the serotonin. Appreciate you. Now, now. Where's Sami Zayn? <laughs> in the S's. There he is. Hold on. Let me get him, because he has no chance at sacrifice. <laughs> no, he, he has. has no chance. Listen. Wake Island Jack and uh, Peninsula and Pete, or whatever the heck you call them. He has an eight and a third chance of winning at sacrifice. Oh my god. He has, he has an eight and a third chance of winning against El Generico. Sami Zayn knew. <laughs> why? Why knew? Oh no! Someone at 2K was like, "Here's the new one. There you go." OMG! I saw Kennedy. Kennedy. Oh my God! Did, were you really thinking about putting in Ken Kennedy in this tournament? No! 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 no. But someone in chat saw saw his entrance. Oh! <laughs> Ash, Ash saw fucking Mr. And, Kennedy's... Anderson! Oh Anderson! Does the fucking mic fall from the ceiling? No. This rugged mustache. I wish you could take out the hat. No, that's his lucky hat. <laughs> that that's his that's his lucky Fidel Castro hat. <laughs> no mic from Oh my god. 
Kennedy versus LA Knight. Impact, Impact doesn't have Mike from ceiling budget. We don't have enough money to pay a dude to drop a microphone from the ceiling. Dixie Carter's too busy for that shit. <laughs> All that money went to Hulk Hogan, brother. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're not entirely wrong? If you ever think that you're low in life, just... Just, like, think about the time that, like, Hulk Hogan left and, like, uh, Dixie Carter was, like, literally hugging his leg. My god, that, that was, like, three years after he came in, didn't he? Poppy's his superstar. That was, like, three years, yeah. Would you like to overwrite these entrance settings? Yes. Okay. There we go. Now things are as they should be. And now we're ready to go. And now we're finally back to this bullshit. Uh, NXT in your house. Praise whoever's in charge. Charge since uh, Dixie Carter's gone. Uh, let's see here. Yes, false count anywhere. And then, and then he really left. Yeah, I, I yeah, he did. I, that was a little embarrassing. I will tell you, I am excited. Um, I am excited to go back and watch uh, No Mercy from tonight. Yeah. Because, oh my God, I want to see Carmelo Hayes and Ilya Dragunov too. That's going to be a fucking banger. I enjoyed that the pay-per-views, uh, you know, as... Ah, uh, sorry. The pay per view is a stinger uh, that that's inspired by, like the No Mercy game. I I, I love that so much. It it's it's too good. It's too good. NXT has been cooking for like the last year. Holy shit! Somewhat at NXT has been a fucking nerd for a bit, huh? <laughs> is that Shawn Michaels? <laughs> oh, let me tell you something, brother. I used to slam some No Hold Mercy back in the day. <laughs> Hold up, let me cook. Let, let Sean cook. Like, has it been, like, a quietly good? It's been really good lately. Huh. Like, <sighs> Becky Lynch as NXT Women's Champion actually makes sense. It kind of makes the belt feel like a mid-card title, though, I think. It really does, and I also kind of think that Jade Cargill is going to come in and just fucking body her for that title, too. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, it's not for the main roster guys, it's for NXT guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, when you have main roster guys doing that, it kind of, I don't want to say devalues the belt, but it definitely, it definitely kind of puts it like a, like a weird place, I think. Okay, now, now look at Samoa Joe. Now we get to look at Samoe Joey. <laughs> he looks like a guy cosplaying a Samoe Joe, too. <laughs> he looks like the baby from that one Pixar short. I hate that. <laughs> now, now you see it. Now you fucking see it. I Oh, God, I hate that. No, no. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Ad starting in like six seconds. Uh, Raw rolls on after this. <laughs> And right, and right at the entrance, and right at the entrance, Paul, Polly Pete. Polly Pete. <laughs> that, that, that is the new name Chad has given him. He is now mm -hmm. Polynesian Pete forever. Friends have also going, yeah, it's Polynesian Peter. That's the full name. I don't think Becky was, was a champion during her first stint in NXT. She was not. Oh, it's really weird to think about. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Every time, Ashley's got my back. Psygnosis offers yes! the best one! In, racing. in fact, the games are so I hear Psygnosis offers, and then and then mine so goes into overdrive. It's time for 90 seconds, Cheetos break my dude. No I become dudes. fucking... No gigantic ramp launches. No driving I become waterfalls. Kevin Steen's portrait. Nothing imaginative. <laughs> These games are supposed to be fun first and simulation, simulation second. second. Where's the, Where's the creativity? creativity? Why not have a game where you have to find and drive to the hospital before your wife delivers her baby? Oh my god, I can hear baby. the match going now on to my controller. 
Rather than compete against other racers, you'd have to avoid getting arrested by keeping below oh, the this speed limit, suck if obeying it was like the right, right of way the laws, of the and not tailgating. Any foul up, and the cops will pull you over. The best part is that you, you don't, don't know, know how, how to, to get, get to your, your location. location. You have to read the road signs and hope you explore in the right direction. I want to make anyway, this game with Chad Formula at some One point. has nice colorful graphics and a large oh number of God, tracks. This would be 17 to be chaos. exact. Are you kidding but it's still me? still a jar, <laughs> the... folks. A jar all the way. I mean, listen. I love, George I love is... that your ad is for motor oil, too. <laughs> is it? It was for motor oil, and now it's into it QuickBooks. That's that's actually fucking perfect. All right, hold on. We gotta we gotta restart the match because we we missed out on the beginning. Welcome back to Raw. Here oh, we go. God. You call you 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 called yourself Jr. Nah, nah. You gotta be Excalibur. <laughs> Unbelievable. You, you you gotta speed read through fucking everything. Oh no, don't ask me to speed read. I can barely read as is. <laughs> Dude, we're VTubers. I can barely we read can't read. Slow speed. <laughs> don't you fuck with us VTubers. We are literally illiterate. Don't you fuck with VTubers, man. I can't read. I <laughs> smack my titty so hard. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't fuck with us VTubers. We have massive milk jugs and we don't know how to use them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. No, motor oil and QuickBooks. I mean, Sh that's what your audience needs, an oil change, right? <laughs> that's, what, that's what George Wood needs. And he's never steered us wrong. So you know what? He needs all the oil that he... I love, I love that. I need an oil change, but I've never steered you wrong. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. F fucking George Wood has never steered us wrong, right, chat? <laughs> He's only raced to the hospital uh, before his wife's water breaks. Oh my goodness. I'm going to I'm going to refill my water Hello, real quick. Mario. Excalibur, I'll be right back. <laughs> Hi! Hi, Canadian Taco. Nah, nah, I miss El Generico. Ooh, it's sad he died in the orphanage fire. Rest don't, in peace, El Generico. Don't tell me that this is merely an imitation. Nah, 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 nah. Don't, don't, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Don't you dare do that to me. He steered you towards the delivery room. Ah. <laughs> oh. well, what's he gonna do with those steel steps? Oh, he just clogged El Generico in the face. I mean, he has his great great cousin Sami Zayn at least, and here he is keeping the tradition alive. <laughs> Either that, or we're just imagining it, and Sami Zayn's imagining it. <laughs> I just got back from a shitty shift of work and got yelled at to end it, but it is what it is. Isn't it weird when work tells you to stop working? Like, that doesn't seem like something that would happen, but... Funnily enough, at my job, it happens all the time. Like, even though news is really stressful, the, uh, the uh, news director is, like, really... <laughs> uh, really strict about, hey... Don't be here longer than you need to. Go and have a life. <laughs> El Generico needs to fight Juan Sens. <laughs> He's fighting Samoa Joe right now. Isn't isn't that uh, close enough? Jesus Christ! El Generico just just getting dismantled out here by Samoa Joe. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> the fucking Shane... The fucking Shane O'Mac steps. Oh, uh, but... It's... But it seems like a Generico's fighting from underneath. After taking punishment all match, he's finally dishing out some of his own. He's looking underneath the ring. Oh! Oh, that'll send him to the medical emergency facility, chat. Just continuing to clock him with that steel chair. Oh, and 
Oh, and Joe has a receipt for him immediately with that clothesline. I live! Now it's... <laughs> and now it's back to what we've been seeing all match. Samoa Joe dismantling El Generico. Oh, no. oh. oh That's come it. on, El Generico. One, come on. Two. Oh, no. Let's go, baby. El Generico will never say die. Unless it's an orphanage fire, in which case that's probably uh, that's probably a thing that you will say die to. That's probably how it goes then. <laughs> I, br I brought back more string cheese. Chad, do you want some string cheese? <laughs> Accurate. I got you on string cheese. I got you on string cheese, chat. <laughs> Creep show here what for you all your do? string cheese needs. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> Girl, I said I the meaning you cannot of the mines string there. cheese. You really can't and do it. now El Generico with the right, flying drop read. kick. Oh my god, come on. Come on, oh, he's El fighting. Let's go. He's fighting from underneath. Oh, oh. To, right to the abdomen of Samoa Joe. And now working over the legs. Ooh. Oh shit. That clothesline just keeps on getting El Generico. Chai just blocked it with his elbow. Blue oh, Thunder Bomb! Here we go, here we go! One! Two! No! Oh, oh shit! God, this is actually good. What the fuck? Suddenly, the complexion of this match has evened up, chat. Suddenly, it's oh, anyone's game. And now El Generico. Haluva kick, With here the we Haluva go. Kick. Here we go. This could be it. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Yes! El Generico wins. Oh my god, we're getting Kevin Steen and El Generico in the what? semis. Let's go. Let's fucking go, dude. The, the right outcome. It will be Kevin Steen versus El Generico. In oh a tables so match. <laughs> In a tables match. <laughs> no, oh, no, you know what? I'll put perfect. them inside a salad steel cage instead. That's perfect. That is so perfect. Now then, chat. The we fuck need... is the Justine Battle Royal? <laughs> it's uh, it's part of the story mode. Hold on. Oh, okay. Uh, with that, chat, we need to update our bracket. Hold on a second. So we've been going for for an hour and we only just did one match rather two matches el generico and steam will meet on later in the show but next we go to the monster abyss versus versus murder grandfather Minoru suzuki i am ready <laughs> insert the picture of Minoru suzuki saying i will murder <laughs> i will be there lebron james <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so... Oh, this is fun. This is fun. So, like, I think that this should just be a singles match, though. Yeah. No, no, no. Wait, wait. No, no, no. It's fucking Abyss. We gotta, like, do it up a little. We gotta extreme rules this shit. Yeah, we we have to extreme rules. Unfortunately, there are no thumbtacks. You can't black hole slam Minoru Suzuki into the fucking thumbtack. You can do that and fight forever, though. Up and see if you can throw a giant oh, fight forever. What a fucking game. I'm so happy they the added Danhausen. I'm so happy uh, they added Danhausen. Uh, you you Riff, you can pay me back on my birthday, all right? <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, Here we go. Anyways, Minoru Suzuki. Where is he? Where are you? There, there you are. he is. Actually, looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. Uh, and where is Abyss? You would think it would be in the A's, but the thing is the monster Abyss, so. It's, wait, they call it the monster Abyss? Yes. Oh my god. Where the hell is he? <laughs> where, is it in M's? Oh, oh, create superstars. This will, this will be easier. There he is. Oh, oh my god, he's a 95. Holy shit. Minoru Suzuki has his work cut out for him. Murder grandpa. Suzuki would take that bump. He would probably. 
Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> he really is a man with nothing to lose. So, extreme rules. Let's go. Yes, in fact, murder grandpa. One, one, one whole murder grandpa. <laughs> please. Moida Gramp. The small fry, please. One God, this match would be would be so much fun. One with cheese and a large soda. One with cheese and a large, large soda. And a large soda. I'm speaking yeah. of large drink, I need drink. Speaking of speaking of a tall drink of water, hi chat. <laughs> Did, did I did I just call everybody in chat attractive? Yes, I did. Well, what about me? I'm literally tall. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we'll leave you it a there. giraffe. <laughs> we'll but yeah, you a giraffe. Well, I forgot. I keep forgetting every time I see Minoru Suzuki in video games and IRL that he's just very thin. He's a very, very... <laughs> like, he literally looks like he could be me in real life. <laughs> I'm incredibly short. She is. She, she is, though. She's shorter than I am, chat. Everybody's shorter than you. Well, that's, well, that's not right here nor there, okay? <laughs> no, no, that's just nature. That's just what... I'm, oh, Jesus Christ, Grandpa, slow down. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Menor Menorah has so much energy. He's ready whoa. to go. God, you really want to you really want a piece of abyss that bad? He he ain't afraid of no monster. I actually checked out oh. this like particular model. He looks pretty good. Oh, I'm so ready. No Kaze ni there. Nah. nah. Unfortunately. There's oh. there's my boy. There's my boy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, like the chest piece looks painted on. <laughs> I just, I just noticed that. Also, fuck, I'm playing as Minoru Suzuki. I need to not do that. Nothing. I need to stop. He's got Moxie. No, no, that's Moxley. I'm surprised neither of us are in John Moxley. In I'm here. surprised too. Like, no John Moxley, no MJF, no Roman Reigns. Okay, Roman Reigns would be busted, but like. <laughs> you say that, but like, we have. We have a 95 level abyss walking into the ring right now. So. Very true, very true. It looks like Minecraft map pixel art. <laughs> brown, boink, brown, brown, in Minecraft. In Minecraft. <laughs> in insert abyss, a clip of abyss craft. <laughs> abyss craft. <laughs> insert insert the clip of um that one Captain Sparkles video where the Minecraft king j just jumps to his death. Creeper. It, it's not the creeper oh, song, man. is it? Oh fuck! Already. Oh god! Damn. Oh god! Already going hell for leather, onto Minoru Suzuki. Oh god! Just immediately going for the throat. He just just right. Right out of the gate and a punch in the gut. Abyss is <laughs> confused. Abyss? <laughs> Abyss uh, getting some reps in real quick. Showing that, yes, he can work, in fact. But now he's in his element. With the- Oh! Immediately! We're immediately, there's color. The, what? The absolute power of the monster Abyss on full display in the early goings. And again! With the steel steps. Oh God. <laughs> Grandpa, get up, Grandpa. Oh shit, here Jeez. we go. <laughs> and this right here is the kind of fire that like, <laughs> that right there is the kind of fire that he needs to show throughout this. Because, because should he have his way, a this will make short work of Minoru Suzuki here. Come on, Abyss, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Abyss, what is your what is your fascination with the chair? What I mean the stairs. What the fuck? The creeper song was revenge. Oh man. Oh, it was Fallen Kingdom. Yeah, I, I don't really care for like Captain Sparkles' videos. I just remember the the king falling to his Jesus. death with a meme forever. What the fuck? <laughs> How Jeez. What the fuck? 
Oh my god, Abyss is just killing him. You're not gonna win a match of power against Abyss. You have to fight from underneath, especially when you're of the build of Minoru Suzuki. Oh, he has to find oh, a god. weapon and begin dismantling him. Bit he by bit. Called, he's called a monster for a reason, Cole! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Just dismantling him, what the <laughs> fuck? Abyss not even playing around anymore. And now he's going back to the steel steps. He's just destroying the shit out of him. Oh no, he doesn't oh, want God. the steel steps now. Jeez. <laughs> it's just a mauling. What the fuck? I thought he was going to go for the top rope. I'm like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> the fuck is Abyss going <gasps> to... Black Hole Slam! Slam! Here we go. That's it. That's it. Just give up to the pay window. Oh, no fucking you're, way. You're, you're a glutton for punishment. Minoru Suzuki not taking this lying down. <laughs> Fight forever. <laughs> NXT, the, do you really need them to fight forever? Is the that what sick you want? Freaks, the sick freaks of NXT enjoying the dismantling of Minoru Suzuki. Takes at least one more finisher than Hiromu Takahashi. He did, though. <laughs> that really is it, though. Hi, Henry. I'm sorry you have to bear witness to this. Oh, wait! Oh, wait! Oh, oh wait! Shit. Oh, Minoru Suzuki's finally fighting from underneath! Oh, boy. Oh, oh, and here, oh, here comes Oh, but it was short-lived. <laughs> but there's hope. There's hope. Can... Can he come back from this? Cover. If he One, wins off this. Two. No! Okay. <laughs> Again! Minoru Suzuki, is, never say die. What does Abyss have to do to put away Murder Grandma? <laughs> oh. Oh. Ooh! Oh, Finally, Minoru no sees a bit of offense in this match. Headbutts. You know what I'm amazed we didn't pick for any of these? Gunther. Yeah, same. Ooh, the chops! The machine gun chops. Oh, and, and another slam to the outside. <laughs> and Abyss is right back in control. Oh, oh, this fire from Minoru. Oh! It finally comes out to play in this matchup. I don't know why I thought he was going to black hole slam him right <laughs> to the outside. I'm like, that's it. That's it. And Abyss is determined to snuff that out. Continuing to make mincemeat of him on the outside. I think this is my favorite match of the entire tournament so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, all these matches have been, like, oddly different. So. And, like, this one was just death, like, in the first five minutes, and then, like, we're just, we're rolling. Holy shit. Oh. Face to the glass on the outside. No, but... No, but he fucking needs to stay on him. Minoru needs to stay on oh. Abyss. You can't give oh. him an inch, especially... <laughs> especially when you've been seeing so much punishment in this matchup. Oh. Ooh. Working over the arm. Oh shit! Oh shit! Working over the arm, the bruised arm of Abyss. What the fuck? Rare athleticism from Abyss. <laughs> and Abyss manages to flip over. And now oh, it's right shit. back. Oh! Oh shit! This fire from Minoru. It has NXT on its feet. The fucking grin on my face right now. Oh my god. Ah, uh, no! You can't! You can't give Abyss an inch! You have to... You have to seal the deal! This is how you get it's out of the It's time for 90 seconds, yet. Cheetos break my dude. <laughs> oh my god! Raw rolls on after this and picture in picture! <laughs> Don't go picture anywhere! Picture. Don't go anywhere! <laughs> and the ad is orange juice. I re oh my god! Wait, hold on. Is it orange juice? 
I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, now? You know what? Oh my god. Please be Rugrats. It's just cutscenes. The Rugrats one is just cutscenes. Like Illusion of Gaia. Oh, uh, no, it's this again. Hints if you need them. Earthbound is an is easy that? RPG, oh. but Nintendo wanted the game to be easy so it provide constant I need uninterrupted to try Earthbound fun. at some point. Earthbound has so many Earthbound is very very it, strange. That Nintendo doesn't uh, want you to give up on the game and never see those funny scenes. You think I'd like it? Earthbound is the first RPG to be set in modern times. You know what? You yes, save I do your think progress I, by calling your dad I do over think the telephone you would like it. and refill your energy by okay. eating pizza. Speaking of it's pizza, the brand of strange that I think that you could get behind. And eat pizza in the other since the game can be controlled with the L button, which lets you talk and check. Otherwise, Welcome back to search, Raw, I guess, where, to move. where uh, visit several places, a clubhouse. Welcome arcade, back to Raw, where the combatants are taking a quick gitsy break. <laughs> Minoru Suzuki and um, Minoru Suzuki and Abyssus had to sit and watch this fucking weird video, <laughs> along, along with the rest of NXT and and us at commentary. That fly around Nessa's know, we, head has really given him. Uh, Absolutely no give. Because you know we 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 just had to see more of George Wood. You you you, you know how this goes. <laughs> I really want to switch up the Gitsies because I feel like we're seeing a lot of the same ones, and and like there are some like Stone Cold classics in here, right? Like you know a uh, Formula yeah. One, this one. <laughs> but I think it's time that we, for one thing, uh, get some new ones, and two make our own got, got to spice it up a little bit i think it would be fun if we made ah uh, oh welcome back to raw where finally minoru suzuki is oh and oh now abyss has some color well it wouldn't be a hardcore match if abyss wasn't bleeding somehow minoru suzuki is back in this matchup after oh, oh. to the head after taking the brunt of the offense in this matchup minoru suzuki's back in it Right, chair is set up in the corner. Oh god, here we go. Missed a big boot. Oh no! 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 And the slam. Oh good god. A face full of canvas for for a Minoru Suzuki. But nope. Oh but no. Oh machine gun chops! Oh. Again. Oh, but Ooh. he's gotta toss Abyss back into the ring. Yep, yep, he has to seal the deal. You have to seal the deal, especially after everything you've been through in this match. Take it home. Oh, God, here we go. Lest Abyss have his way with you once again. Mm. And now he just has right where he wants him. Does, is Minoru Suzuki sitting on three finishers? Are you kidding? He's <laughs> sitting on three finishers. No mercy oh ended God. and holy fuck. Oh, don't no spoilers. Was it no a good spoilers. show? Was it a good show though? Just wearing him down. Like he's nothing. Ooh. Oh! Oh god, and here we go. <laughs> I won't spoil, but holy fuck. It might be my pay-per-view of the year. Are they, like, pay-per-views? Are they not just, like, stuff that, like, goes on the USA Network? No, it's, it's like, pay-per-views. It's on Peacock. Oh, they're network specials. Okay. Oh, they're... Okay, so... Uh, Ooh. no spo no spoilers or anything, but they're talking, like, this match... This show contained a five-star match. Really? It's... It was probably, and I, I will, uh, I will say, versus I will, Dragunov. I will say nothing more after that. It's probably Hayes versus Dragunov. It'll probably be like at least a year before I watch it, uh, like most things, <laughs> because I don't I don't get to things very fast, unfortunately. Like NXT. Like NXT. I haven't watched like like Dynamite or Collision or Rampage and like basically since All In because and I've just been so busy. Hot Not. Take. Not not hot take, but I have a confession. I I I don't watch Dynamite or Collision. I just kind of catch up on highlights. And there's the black hole slam. I am losing people watching AEW by <laughs> by the day. Jeez. Oh, and Abyss finally puts away Minoru Suzuki in a hard fought effort. 
Jesus, that picked up. What an insane wow. matchup. What an absolutely insane showing from both men. But ultimately, he just couldn't stack up to Abyss. And he moves on to face whoever wins against, <laughs> against this next matchup. Oh, God. I... <laughs> I just realized either Undertaker or Malachi Black is going up against Abyss, and holy shit. Wow. Wow. That's actually, like, really, really, really tempting. God, oh. I want that, actually. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no reason for me Why to isn't Joseph excited. Park in this show? Why isn't Joseph Park in this show? Well, he's, he's watching the show. Like, he's in the crowd. Yeah. That's where he's Joseph Park is. He's fucking enjoying NXT in your house. Which is actually turning out to be, like, you know, a really solid pay-per-view. <laughs> oh, God. Actually. Minoru Suzuki and Abyss is, like, match of the night so far. Holy yeah. shit. However, this one here, it could top even that. We have... Hold on. We have... Malachi Black taking on... The Undertaker! It's my here. boys, <laughs> and it's and it's this version, rather it's this version of the Undertaker. It is, it is that Undertaker. Oh, we forgot to up update the uh, bracket. Hold on. Um, actually went ahead and I did that. Abyss <laughs> oh, moves on okay. and faces whoever wins against Malachi Black and the Undertaker. Oh, A fantastic match either way you look at it. But first, who will be the better man in this contest? Find out for more. Get the Teddy Long audio. <laughs> Number taker player. The one on one. Malachi Black, you're going one on one with the Undertaker player. Have I ever told you my story Hello, of Mario. my interaction with? <laughs> Hi, Warhorse. How you doing? Welcome, welcome to our fun little wrestling bracket. Uh, we're three War matches Horse. in so far, and it's been fantastic. Warhorse rules ass! I fucking love Warhorse. Um, <laughs> fucking what was I about to say? Have I ever told you uh, my story of my interaction with Teddy Long? I remember you said that it's one of your least favorite uh, moments that you yeah. had, like, speaking to a wrestling person. Yeah, I, I met it? Teddy Long in 20, uh, 2017, and it was, like, one of the worst meet and greets I've ever done. Aw, that's shit. Because here's the thing, because he was charging 50 bucks for like a picture and for like a picture for a picture and autograph. Fine, whatever. No big deal. But I, I, I kind of had that look of like Ugh, 50 bucks. Right. And he sees every interaction with fans, like when they're talking to like the person handling the whole thing. And I, I, I did have that look on my face of like Ugh, 50 bucks. OK. Um, and Teddy Long looks at me uh, and he goes, all right. Are you are you are you proud of that picture? Are you proud of it? It's worth the fifty bucks. You should be proud of it. <laughs> he took it like really personally. Yeah, he, he that's did. really it weird. So, it was so awkward, and I'm like, my guy. I'm not mad <laughs> at you. I'm mad at the fucking agent that's making you pay fifty bucks. You know. <laughs> I was like, I love Teddy Long, but like, Jesus Christ. Man. You have to think that he was like, I don't know, like several hours deep at that point, too. Mm -hmm. You know, like at that point, you're just just want to go back to the hotel. <laughs> and here comes the Undertaker player. Fucking. Um, <clears throat> I was going to say WrestleCon is exhausting, but WrestleMania access is a fucking blast. <laughs> you know, I went to SummerSlam uh, this year, right? And mm -hmm. that was fucking awesome. It was fantastic. Even though we couldn't see the ring because I was an idiot and we got floor seats. So. Oh, God. So, uh, rest in peace, Zachary's neck. Uh, and rest in peace to my neck because, uh, we spent the entirety of the show just looking up at, like, a projector that was. I actually have a custom autograph from Charlotte Flair, fun fact. You have that? A uh, homunculus Ooh. and you didn't tell me? I might make that a mega thread on Twitter, like all the autographs I have from wrestlers one day, just to be like, oh, look what I got. <laughs> just like measure your own cock. 
Look at me. I've got an Alexa Bliss. Ooh. <laughs> Look at me. I have spoken with the great uh, Rene Dupree. I look at me. I have an autograph from Rene Dupree when he was hung over. Ooh, maybe when, maybe when. Uh, I mean, aren't they coming to Chicago for for uh, Bound for Glory? For uh, Impact? Yeah, yeah. They're coming to Is Chicago bound for for Bound for Glory. Come on, let's go. It, oh yeah, it is. I, I thought it already happened. I was like, wait, what? I mean, did it already happen? It, listen, listen. It has been at least a year since I watched Impact anything. So no, like it's it's ha it's happening. <laughs> uh, we already have like five matches already. Um, already, fuck it. Oh, you'd love one this. of them oh is Will God. Osprey versus Mike Bailey, which which will fucking kick my ass if I watch it. Jesus, fucking uh, Tr Trinity and Mickey James. Oh, good. that'll be fantastic. Alex Shelley and Josh Alexander. Oh my God! I want listen, listen. If there's a God, let Alex Shelley win. <laughs> let him win. Because Chris Sabin versus Kenta. Because like I enjoy Josh Alexander, but he's the most uh, creator wrestler ass wrestler of all time. So. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> I really, really enjoy him. I enjoy his work. I enjoy kind of like the classic kind of. A kind of a babyface uh, story that he has, but he is pretty vanilla. <laughs> what the fuck is this? The call your <laughs> shot gauntlet. The twenty. The call your shot gauntlet. A twenty-person intergender <clears throat> call your shot gauntlet. The winner receives a trophy and a contract they can invoke any time of up to one year. The so impact has no money in the bank. Essentially, yeah, yeah. It's essentially kind of a mix of like the Royal Rumble and Money in the Bank. So, yeah. What makes it interesting is that's intergender. So I'm like, ooh, okay. And it actually is a uh, pretty cool because I remember a couple years ago, uh, you had you had guys like other guys like Moose and Macha Slamovich in there. Uh, you had you had the Kiss Demon in there <laughs> as a cameo. <laughs> Kiss Demon? Yeah, 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 yeah. The Kiss Demon appeared in it. It was very funny. Oh my god, do you remember the like the very first Casino Battle Royal in 2019 in AEW and they had fucking Glacier in there? I uh, listen. Listen. That's why they can't beat WWE. It's because they didn't keep Glacier around. <laughs> AEW could at least get Glacier for a, a night. <laughs> for like a minute. Have him Yeah. <laughs> have him fucking uh I don't know, call in like Shane Helms and have him become the Typhoon or something. Just like have him fight just, you know, a villain of some kind. <laughs> Typhoon. Wait, didn't, isn't Typhoon dead? Creep show. Creep show, don't yeah. do this to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Creep show, don't do this to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I, I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't, don't fucking... <laughs> Don't take the wind out of my sails. You're better than this. I'm sorry. <laughs> we don't talk about Tessa. No, no, no. No, we do not. No, we do not. We make it our God, first God. women main main world champion for Impact. Ooh. God, so, talk about like pissed away opportunity. Holy shit. Thank you for thank you for. Uh, Sorry, thank you for uh, lurking, City Pops. I really appreciate it. Uh, I <laughs> uh, hope to see you later on in the show because we have quite uh, quite a bit more ways to go. We got a schedule. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I don't be a mega Marchita. racist, LMAO. You know what? Uh, uh, that yeah. generally helps. That's his general life advice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, don't so be a I dickhead, you know? I posed this question uh, to friends the other day. Jesus Christ. Who is, uh, oh my God. getting fucked up. What? Is this the end? Wow. Wow. This was the shit. Oh my God. <laughs> they had to come down after Abyss and Minoru, brother. Wow. Well, we get Abyss and Undertaker to ask me, great. <laughs> I was about to say, a dream match any way you look at it. 
<laughs> we commentated that like it was an episode of AEW Dark. <laughs> just just Taz and Excalibur shooting the shit over nothing. I listen, listen. That right there is the biggest loss in like in like the company's newest expansion, right? Like that right there is yeah. the biggest loss of like putting on so many like different shows. For one thing, rather like rather like on one hand, cool, right? You know, you know, like it shows it shows it shows that they're doing well but mm -hmm. on the other hand i miss out on the best podcasts in all of wrestling and that is just taz and excalibur just making bullshit <laughs> up while they try to fill time on dark it's so much fun it is aw <laughs> dark was my favorite podcast same same we literally <laughs> lost so much like like it's literally just two friends watching wrestling together it's literally like me and my roommate. If you just sat us down and said, hey, do this. And then we did it. <laughs> God damn it, Warner Brothers Discovery. Fuck you, AEW, for being successful. Anyways, uh, Undertaker wins that in convincing fashion. Uh, and like, next. Oh, my God. Next. Oh, next. We have what could be match of the night, I think. Oh, this is going to be a banger. I am very excited. For it this. is. Bobby Roode versus Hangman Adam Page. Oh God, the Buckshot versus the Spinebuster. Two oh fucking God, blink and you'll miss it moves. Oh my God, that'd actually be a really banger spot. Like, um, Hangman goes for the Buckshot, buckshot and then Bobby ducks <laughs> and then Roode counters buster. into a Spinebuster. No, I no. Want that. No, no, like he catches Hangman like while he's doing the move and just uh -huh. like and just spikes him like with the spine buster. Oh my god, I love that so much. Like while he's running towards him. Oh, that would be so good. Oh, oh man, I want this match now. <laughs> yeah, I, god I damn it. You into this shit. We'll never No, we'll never get it though. We'll never get it. I know, and it makes me sad. <laughs> Anyways, normal it's rules. It's gotta be normal. It is. Where is he? Oh, it's in the R's, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's Robert. Ah, oh, damn it. Now, here's something that we did one, rather one night. Uh, one foggy night. While me and Creep Show were just kind of like you know uh, sitting around and playing, and playing a uh, my GM. We looked at Robert Roode's official clothing in this game, and it completely takes the wins out of his sales when it comes to his entrance. So, we rectified that, as you will see. Because... And we gave him his old shit back. <laughs> because when you when you play as Robert Roode uh, normally in this game, uh, he does not have his robe. He just comes out in like a dirty dog's uh, hoodie and jacket. And it just completely takes the wind out of the sails of the fucking entrance. So, uh, so we're blowing the wind right back in there. Also, welcome back, we City Pops. Our, we get our old glorious entrance back. He may have the spine buster, but it ain't no Arn Anderson spine buster. Well, well, listen, many things in life aren't a fucking spine buster from him. Okay. <laughs> Not many things can stack up to. Uh, good old Arn Anderson. So, I think Triple H does a, a spine buster better. He does have a pretty mean spine buster. We gave him his identity back. We, we gave you your shit back, Bobby. Welcome back to NXT, Bobby. Oh, it's so good too. What I know. Fuck? Look at him. The greatest NXT champion of all time. There ain't no way that this song gets this kind of reaction, though. I I wouldn't say that. Like, I think you could you would still get people singing along to it. Well, yeah, but like, to uh, it's time for ninety to, uh, seconds. Degree. Cheetos break, my dudes. Raw rolls on after this. <laughs> Right in the middle of Bobby Roode's entrance. You too. know what? It's perfectly timed. It really is like an episode of WWE wrestling. You know, yes, it is. 
It continues in restaurant quality, picture in picture. Do not play Gitsy. Don't play Gitsy, Ashley. I'm serious. Okay. Oh, when you said I, I was, I'm serious. I was about to do it. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Just hold off, hold off. I'm serious. Okay, okay, that's acceptable. <laughs> I was, I was trying to figure out what the fuck your ads are playing, and it's like it's like a multivitamin. What the fuck? Ah, uh, yes, Ryback's multivitamins. <laughs> My God, I fucking love that um, Ryback sells a multivitamin that's called GTS Go to Sleep. God, what a mark. Like, listen, listen. <laughs> Every couple of months, he'll, like, put a poll up that says, Hey, guys, where do you want me to go? And I swear, at this point, it's on purpose, right? You want me to retire? <laughs> wait, 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 Jerry Lawler? <laughs> what the oh, oh, fuck? Jerry the King Lawler. <laughs> That's not a cowboy. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Production fucked up. Hold on. Oh no! Quick, quick, hey man, just act like nothing's happening. Act like nothing's going wrong. Just keep going. It's like that one time Bianca Belair came out to Rhea Ripley's Titantron. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hey man, Paige suddenly doing somersault. Cody Rhodes? <laughs> the fuck? I recognize the Cody entrance. Adrenaline in, in, in my the horse. Hole. Something, um, something, Cody Rhodes. Something, something, Adam Page. <laughs> Adrenaline on my horse. I'm going to. I'm going to pass down on North Street. Fucking hell. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Jeez! Where, immediately. We're, we're just we're just going straight for the spinal stuff. It like immediately. Okay, sure. Hangman, go for it. I'm gonna speed across the course on my horse. Adrenaline, workers' rights. I have butterflies on my tights. <laughs> the first move, and it's a fucking sit-out pile driver. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I really, 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 really want, like, the buck shot of the Spinebuster spot now, but we Please. won't get it. I want it so bad now. I want that spot. A, a collar and elbow tie-up? No. Pile driver? Nah, we go for a pile driver immediately. <laughs> yeah, Jerry Waller's looking young and refreshed. <laughs> Looking like a whole new person. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> hey man, Paige, God. with a lot of fire immediately into the cover. One. Come on, Bobby. Come on, Bobby. <laughs> that will not put him away. Not by a long shot. Now, Hangman just having his way in the early goings here with Robert Roode. What the hell? Jeez. Christ. Okay. Hangman hey Paige is here to win this thing. Into the cover. Two. One, two. Nah. Ooh, kick out of two by Bobby. Hey man, can't he can't keep going for like these really, really, really quick covers. Kick. Jeez, immediately blood. What the fuck? <laughs> all right, oh, Robert like Suzuki all over again. <laughs> all right, a Robert Rugen something in spine oh, buster. Dude. Jesus Christ, that was quick. And oh, spine buster and right knee shots to the cat, uh, thighs. I, I don't know my body parts anymore. That right there is the electricity of Robert Rue. Glorious DDT. That could be it right there. If that's if that's the match, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> Jeez, Hangman hey already using his freaking resiliency on this one. And now we have a matchup on our hands. It only took two moves, and Robert Roode's in the game again. Adrenaline go. workers. I have butterflies on my tights. Is my new about me on both <laughs> y'all servers? That's, I, I, that's incredible. I love that. I was chewing. I was chewing on some what? Chips. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> no. What? 
Ah, uh, uh, okay, son- sure. Ah, uh, suddenly we're playing Fight Forever. Fucking Hangman wins, lol. <laughs> Hangman wins, lol. I guess. Oh God, I was very good when I read that. That was very Fuck good, off, huh? <laughs> the old he knocked him out accidentally count the fucking pin. <laughs> they called an audible, <laughs> brother. It's like, uh uh oh, Bobby Roode died. Okay, Hangman wins. And with that, he's now a producer. Hangman Page goes on to face whoever wins in Raven versus Booker. Me personally, I I I don't know. That's a coin flip because I love both of them. I'm leaning towards Booker. Now, should this be a step? I'm thinking it should be. What 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 are you thinking? I'm thinking Table? tables match. Okay. I'm thinking tables match. Oh, that's right because like uh, Booker T has like a uh, 450, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Melser. I forgot. Melser was confused and he thought Rude was a Japanese name. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ashley. Uh, well, you see, uh, that was uh, uh, that was uh, three stars. It's the best match I've ever seen in the uh, in the uh, Tokyo Dome. Uh, but f f f four life. Hey, Storm. Hey, uh, st hey, Storm Crow Thrush. Thank you very much for following, my friend. You're now a member of the Long Boy Club for life. Thank you very much for following. I know that you. Are... Oh, sorry, uh, sorry. Are you uh, Pops's uh, fiance? Yeah. Hey, there you go. I remember things Hello, sometimes. Mario. <laughs> Don't know how I haven't followed already. I get that a lot. I need to like just walk up to people's like front doors and saying, "Hey, you following Giraffestev on Twitch.tv forward slash uh, Giraffestev?" Get out of my house. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. I'll just <laughs> leave a flyer <laughs> in like their mailbox. <laughs> Hi, have you seen this giraffe? Get out of my house. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but uh, would you have a few minutes spare in order to uh, talk about our Lord and Savior, the Giraffe Man? <laughs> so get, you like, finally get someone that says yes, and you go, uh, okay, I didn't think this far ahead. I don't know. I didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> Anyways, what was the matchup? Raven versus fucking... Booker T. Yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, hold on. There's Raven. And they even modeled on like a uh, band t-shirts for him too. So that's so good. Raven, the grunge Bray Wyatt. You know what? Actually, yes. That's like actually what he is, <laughs> though. Pretty much. Like he literally had three fucking versions of his own Wyatt family. So it, but he had Raven's thing, Nest, Raven Raven's had a... Flock, and Serotonin. So like like, Raven had cooler names, but Bray was a better character, though. Yeah. Like, Raven's Flock. Oh, mwah, love it. Well, actually, it it kind of depends on which version of Raven you're talking about. If you're talking about, like, his stuff in WCW, then no, it isn't as good. But if you're talking about the stuff they did before, then, then yeah, I would say that's oh, better yeah. than Wyatt. Or at, least, or at least on par. On par mm -hmm. with Wyatt. So... Are you looking for Booker T? I'm just scrolling aimlessly. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're all good. I was like, are you lost? I, I can help guide the way for you. I'm actually fucking, fucking brain dead. I'm sorry. Uh, what's my pronouns on Twitch are still uh, they, them. I need to change that. Well, all right. I will try to remember. I'll try to remember. I need to do that too. And if I forget, then please uh, tell me because my brain is square and I forget things sometimes. <laughs> So I love how like um decisions can be made whether your brain is square or round or a pyramid or like a or a parallelogram. Parallelogram. <laughs> so how did they do Dear Raven's me. entrance? Oh, does he just walk out? That's a really good Raven though. It's so good. That's actually like really, really faithful. I'm telling you, man, there are people on the community creations that take this shit seriously. It's like their job. To whomever to whomever is doing like these really good creations, 
fucking love you. <laughs> My fucking boy remembers his like junior high school geometry. Listen. <laughs> Listen, I don't know how to fill out my taxes, but I damn sure know the Pythagorean theorem, and that has fed my family. All right. Look, look, look. I I struggle to do my taxes, but damn, I sure know all the periods of Earth throughout time. <laughs> you ever heard of the quaternary period? No, but I have heard of uh, trigonometry. I failed that. Hmm. I had to look. I had to Google quaternary period to make sure I wasn't fucking like going insane. There we go. The quaternary period is the third and last of the three periods of the Cenozoic era. You and I are living in this period. So basically, the quaternary period is right now. I don't want there to be periods of Earth. I just want there to be like Earth, you know? Because <laughs> I just want because periods of Earth. They fucking make me feel like, geez, huh? Eventually, we too will pass. <laughs> how do you? But well, then, how do you explain like Jurassic and Cretaceous and Triassic? And I did that in the wrong order. God damn it! The fucking dinosaur fandom. If it, it feels like it has exploded in recent years, you know. Sorry, did you say the fucking dinosaur fandom? Yes, the paleontology fandom has exploded in like recent <laughs> years or months. And I don't know where, like, everyone came from, but, like, but, like, I have multiple friends in VTubing that are obsessed with dinosaurs. Paleo. Did that me? You? I love dinosaurs. Okay, Paleo, Phoenix, you. Everyone's obsessed with dinosaurs. Chad, who's your favorite dinosaur? Giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> My, mine is the Archaeopteryx. Bam, there you go. What's your favorite dinosaur? Mine... Mine is for Rigoraf. You know what's funny? I, um... I saw that card in a binder the other day, like a four version of that, and I'm... <laughs> I'm going to go to the Pokemon League next week where he that where that person goes. Shocking. I'm going to ask Group if they of want to trade it. Queers on the internet obsessed with dinosaurs. More news at 11. Well, listen, listen. I am a I'm a straight Oh my god. I'm a straight cis cis male, all right? I don't I don't always understand things because I'm stupid. So, I hello, hi. I'm autistic and trans and I love dinosaurs. More at 11. I do have some form of autism. I know that much. I do have, I do have, I do have um, ADHD. Uh, that much I know. So, God, Sam. Also, I and it's fucking, jeez. <laughs> I can't believe y'all made me laugh at a point I was coughing. What the fuck? <laughs> um, just mentioned the dinosaur fandom, and then you lose your shit. <laughs> Yeah, because I don't remember anybody calling it the fucking dinosaur fandom. Like, I just thought, oh, it's just people that like dinosaurs and shit. I didn't know there was a fandom to it. Like, people are drawn, like, I, I don't know. They're doing shipping of, like, oh, yes, I'm going to ship the Ceratosaurus. <laughs> uh, I'm going to ship the Ceratosaurus and the Diplodocus together. Maybe the fans will like that shit. Anomal Karish and T-Rex is my OTP. <laughs> Here, here is here is my oh here is my dino C, creep creeposaurus. Do not steal. <laughs> oh my god. By the way, um. Uh, oh oh yeah. By the way, we have a match going on. Sorry about that. <laughs> by the way, that's spelled dino C. There you go. Dino C. That's how that shit is spelled. <laughs> The Triceratops is my self-insert character. <laughs> you know what? Henry is a dinosaur, and you know how I know that? It's because he always bites my calves. Jesus Christ. Oh look God. at... Jeez, look at these wrestling fundamentals from Raven. <laughs> are, you, are you gonna put... Are you gonna put somebody through a table or not? <laughs> oh, man. It really is AEW Dark. Oh, uh. <laughs> My favorite dinosaur is Ankylosaurus. That's a real dinosaur. 
And oh, that's what Henry God. is. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, I like I, I like the um I like the RT R Jesus Christ. Um I like the Archaeopteryx and I like the Stegosaurus because the Stegosaurus looks fucking stupid and I love it. Isn't the Stegosaurus like the one that has a long neck? No. Which one is the one that has a long neck? A Patasaurus. I'm gonna get a Patasaur. I'm gonna get <laughs> I'm gonna get a fucking like OC of that like dinosaur and just give it a bunch of spots and a wrestling mask and glasses. You're, 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 you're gonna no get a dino C. I will get a fucking dino C and what's more, I'll fucking get someone to make a model out of it. You, you know Jeez. what's funny, like <laughs> what the fuck? They're going hell for water. I have been paying <laughs> Oh, fuck off! <laughs> Immediately! Okay, sure, that's it! Uh, a pot of stev. <laughs> a pot of stevis. Oh, perfect. Anyways, oh. uh, Booker T wins, I guess. Spinnerooney! Spinnerooney, there you go. We have two more matches in the first bracket. We have and up now next. we got two more. We got two more matches in the first bracket. Uh, up next is Sandman versus Edge. So oh boy, here we go. Let me let me load it up. While you're doing that, I'm gonna refill my water one last Alrighty. time. I'll be right back. Well, I may as well go ahead and see how long it is until uh, Bezos comes for us. We got two minutes, so like. Fuck it, I may as well do it right now. Raw rolls on after this. It's time for 90 seconds Cheetos break, my dudes. Go ahead and play some Gitsy, Ace. The floor is yours. The floor is yours to take. We have a lot of people in chat tonight, by the way. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Thank you. Thank you, I'm Ashley. Thank you, Creep Show. Thank you... Thank you, uh, Gen P Vault. Thank you, Hable Vermin. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Plays Games Sometimes. Thank you, Kite. Uh, More City Pops. Uh, Nelson Demifer. Riff Music. Uh, Stormcrow. Swift. Virtually God. Warhorse. And Weed Demon. Y'all have been fantastic tonight. Thank you all very, very, very much for hanging out with us. Uh, when we When we finish up the first round here, we will take about a six to seven minute break so uh, that way I can get up and stretch because I've been sitting here for almost two hours at this point and that's not healthy <laughs> that's not healthy <sighs> so yeah uh once we're done with the first round here we will go on a quick break again thank you all for hanging out with us this evening this is this has been absolutely fun it's been entertaining it's been great so Yes, we will continue here. Uh, Glorious. I won't give in. I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. Yeah, have fun with that. Homunculus, I believe in you. Everyone in the Long Boy Club believes in you. Isn't that right? Long Boy Club. All right, hold on. I swear, dude, we've seen some weird stuff tonight. If the Shockmaster beats LA Knight, I'm throwing my PlayStation out the window. I'm just gonna be done. It'll be all over. Uh. God, my brain's fucked. Sandman. So here's the thing, chat. We will have to skip over the Sandman's entrance because his entrance does, in fact, Use Metallica, all right. Hey, actually, you you got the Metallica music for this? What? Yeah, I mean, like, I didn't <laughs> I didn't have the song, but oh okay. But I got the Metallica song that's in this game. So, oh god, <laughs> I forgot Metallica did a song for this. They didn't do a song. They just provided a song. <laughs> I'll do but Metallica's o o o g song. Do Edge 06. Why not? Either this is gonna go the distance or this is gonna take no time at all. I feel like 
I feel like it'll go the distance. Woo, homunculus, woo. Famously not at all litigious Metallica. <laughs> you know what? You know one of my favorite things that's ever happened in the history of streaming? Uh huh. Uh, Metallica played a set on Twitch for like a uh, BlizzCon one year, right? That's a good Sandman, by the way. Uh, it really is. Uh, they did a set for for a uh, BlizzCon one year, and it was streamed on Twitch. Their own set was fucking uh, DMCA'd, <laughs> and it was <laughs> and it was replaced like with the most unmetal stock music that you could possibly ask for midstream. Uh... It's Jesus really Christ. funny. Th th thank you, Lars Ulrich, you fucking dick. Finally, it comes full circle. Can I have a circle. Dynac father? A Dynac father? Mmm, <laughs> refreshing. Mmm, refreshing. Oh my god. Dynac. <laughs> Dynac, it good, it good for your spleen. It's good for your... It's good for your bones. Like milk. <laughs> Made with only 1% fossil fuels. Can but I have a dino sea father? <laughs> oh, that's better! I love how we just created, like, a completely new kind of OC here. Ah, immediately! Here we go! Here, here we, we go. go! Here we fucking go, chat. Oh, I have I mean, What are you talking about? You're already a dino sea homunculus. I mean, you and I are basically products of the prehistoric age. You know, at least that's what the monkeys tell us. The monkeys will say anything to make us forget that we're actually robots. The, the, the monkeys also wrote National Enquirer, the National Enquirer. <laughs> Ugh. And that's, that's barely usable, so. When's SVR? Uh, 2008, so... Uh, so you can play a Sandman without the CAWs. Actually... Actually... That's a good question. Because... When we're finally done with, like, all the wrestling stuff that we're doing here, right? Uh-huh. The next wrestling thing on the docket will be SmackDown vs. Raw, uh, 2008. Because, uh, this is, a uh, before you followed or... Or found the, uh, channel. But uh, we were doing a whole kind of uh, revisit of like the SmackDown vs. Raw games. And Boogie Man. Boogie Man. And we recently, uh, <laughs> and uh, last year, uh, we finished up uh, 2007. Or at least, like, I think over the spring, we finished up 2007. So. Okay. Uh, the next one on our docket is, in fact, 08. And it is going to be not very fun because. <laughs> Uh, 2008 is probably the worst of, like, the ones from that particular time period. There was so much I had to uh, change on the fly with that game, too. So, really? like, it's... I mean, well, they had to edit out Chris Benoit. And, like, it, they were also... They were also experimenting with, like, a bunch of other shit for that game. Okay. Um, And they also came off the heels of 07, and people really, really like SmackDown vs. Raw 07. It's very good. Um... It's very good. It, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, also, didn't um, didn't 08 have mm. GM mode or did it not? It did have GM mode, but the thing about it is that you could not have a save for for season mode and GM mode um, at once. You can only have one or the other. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that that's sucks. something that people didn't like. And yeah, it sucks. <laughs> he, he, he really wants the sleeper hold. Edge really wants the sleeper hold. What what uh what match type did you give this? I just wait. I didn't even give this a match stipulation. What? I'm an idiot. I said, wait a minute. This is the Sandman. I was about to say. You know what? I'm making Sandman work, brother. <laughs> I'm making him work. <laughs> we're we're gonna judge you by your work rate, there, Sandman. He really wants the Sandman to go to sleep. <laughs> you know what? That's actually it's actually incredible. I love that. Good shit. But no, uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 08, uh, we'll be playing that here soon. We'll be playing that here soon, and I do have a physical copy of that this time. We'll be playing it on uh, PS3, which is probably the worst version of the game. 
So I think 08 is like um I think 08's the one I don't have a physical copy for. Um up until now I've just been uh been playing them on my PS2. Wink wink wink. Uh wink wink nudge nudge boop boop. But I literally bought a PS3 specifically to play the games on stream. <laughs> so and I really should have bought like an Xbox 360 because getting the PS3 to work in terms of capturing footage, it's a ball like and a half <laughs> because you can't capture it directly because because it has a built in copyright protection. What the fuck? I I need to fix Ooh, spear. Um, oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go. When did they start being capable of patching games? Uh. Probably around the 360 era. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that sounds about right. I mean, that was, I mean, that was when they could, like, uh, like, send out patches of games after they release. If you wanted to, like, make fixes to a game, you would basically have to re-release it all over again. <laughs> so. And that's a ball ache. <laughs> and that right there is the true ball ache inside us all. I need to fix up my 360. Um, because I, I went in and refurbished it, and yeah. for some reason, when I try to press the button to open a door, it doesn't open the door. Really? And I'm like, I didn't mess with anything like that. I just I just did a little bit of, like, cleaning and de-dusting the console and made sure everything was, like, working okay. It's so like, so like it's basically, like, non-functioning, and, and, like, it isn't even, like, no, a like, red ring. No, like it'll it'll turn on and everything. Like it'll read if I plug it into the television, but like the door won't fucking open. So like you can't play anything physical on it then. Yeah, I can't play anything physical on it right now. Oh, I see. And you know what really sucks? My copy of NCAA football 2013 is in there, and I'm like, no, that that's sucked. Hey, Edwin. That sucked ass, dude. <laughs> that was a very unsandman ass match. <laughs> I sent him like out there NCAA, to fail. And like NCAA football is like one of the is like one of the best college football games ever because it was the last one. And I'm like, no, release my disc. <laughs> Give me my disc, you asshole. It's like Madden 08, but for creep show. Yeah, pretty much. Now, oh, now, here, here come the actual fucking stars. The final, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, the the final match of the first round bracket and before we go to break, it is the Shock Master versus versus Eli Drake. Yeah. And I did go out of my way to download Eli Drake. And and it was uh this morning when I fucking downloaded him that I saw what I will Fucking go on record as saying it's probably the worst t-shirt in wrestling history. <laughs> oh no. Does he wear it to the ring? He sure does. Oh, I'm excited. Now where is the shock master? There he is. The fuck is that helmet? Uh that's what you find at Party City when you can't find a stormtrooper helmet. Uh, you know what that looks like? That looks like um, those like little spiky toys you can find in the Toy Story. Like you push your face through, and it gives like a mold of your. Oh face. yeah, 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 yeah. Those. Oh my god, this is gonna suck, and I'm excited. He's 76. Eli Drake, you better fucking win this. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. I do want to see Rhea Ripley versus versus uh, Jade Cargill. That actually sounds really fun. Yeah. That sounds like a banger. I still love the story about how the people that made the wall messed it all. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, Anna? done goofed. That's the wall, brother. There he is. Dummy, yeah. Yeah. And then he has like a giant list on the back. Of who? I am the official something or other. Hold on. I am the official. Let me read the back of your shirt. Motion of badassery is what I saw. Yeah. Now, listen, I feel like wrestling shirts should be stuff that you want to wear in public, right? 
Who's wearing this you in public? You can't tell me you wouldn't want to wear the dummy shirt. <laughs> in public? Oh, come oh, on. I... I gave him pyro. <laughs> he had pyro and impact? No, I gave him pyro. I just... I fucking did it on my own free will, and he didn't get it. it didn't go off. Did you give him, like, the Roman Reigns full send the nukes, everything goes off? No, 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 no. I gave him, like, Batista's pyro. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Here oh, he comes. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the steaming uh, shit. This match is going to shock the world, brother. What happened to his arm? What happened to his arm? What do you mean? Well, oh! Ah! Dummy. Ah! Yeah. Eli Drake. Yeah. Beat the shock master. Yeah. Yeah. Party city. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck happened to Shockmaster's arm? What Sh the fuck was that? Shockmaster? Dummy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I will say NXT. that his work oh, in that dummies. time period was oh. fun. Why? Why is this model breaking like that? Oh my god, I <laughs> hope. <laughs> I wasn't ready! <laughs> well, then he trips to the ring. Yes. And fire went off too! Oh wow. That's commitment. Oh, I hope his model breaks him in. Oh my god. Okay, now, okay, now he's fine. Now he's fine. <laughs> oh, it's LA Knight versus somebody's drunk dad. <laughs> really is a shock master. All we need is... Who the fuck did the voice for him? Ole Anderson? Yeah. All we need is him just like talking over like the grunts that he says whenever, uh. <laughs> whenever like Eli Drake does a spot. Your moves are shocking, <laughs> LA. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I'm not over. Yeah. Come here, son! I'm not over it. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I love how all of the people that have uh, progressed. Mm -hmm. I love how, like, all the people that have have uh, progressed they like completely won in like things that are like completely removed from their fucking element uh, the only exception is abyss <laughs> like abyss just fucking dominated throughout most of that match and they made it competitive too <laughs> no i know like that's like that's still the match of the night so but wait is Shockmaster and la knight gonna gonna be the one that tops it is shock why i was gonna say why is shockmaster like beating the shit out of I eli drake to what? Say. like like why is this one-sided in favor of the shockmaster <laughs> there you go now we're doing some stuff please tell me his finisher is the emerald flosion what is his finisher it's a front slam and a backbreaker wait Ew. wait he has blackout he could just teleport like the, the Undertaker. Oh, that. <laughs> okay, sure. Oh my God, the Shockmaster has color, as you can see. He's like bleeding all. <laughs> He's like bleeding all over the helmet. He'll never know what. <laughs> He'll never know when he can get a booking again. The Shockmaster needs to get his shit in. <laughs> You just start seeing blood dripping down from the inside of them. Ew. Ew. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Yeah. But no, like I literally went out of my way to like just get a fucking a fucking version of LA Knight that was actually Eli Drake. And I don't know, I just like looked at his shirt and I was like, that looks like the kind of thing that I would wear in sixth grade, frankly. <laughs> It, it's it's almost on the same like vibe level as those t-shirts like oh would sell my sister for video games yeah yeah exactly like literally hold on i'm gonna find a sh hold on i'm gonna find the shirt real quick 
I'm gonna find the how to spot a gamer shirt because it's what I always like default to whenever I want to think of funny spot shirts. A gamer? There you go, rope break. How to spot a gamer. Oh god. Yes! The first result! The first result! And it's exactly what I want. And it's that fucking shirt you can buy at a Walmart or a Kohl's or something like that? Yes. It's exactly that. I will show it after this match. I will still take Shockmaster over the worst tag team name ever in the Dingalings. Oh. Oh, the you mean the fucking Oh, you mean the fucking uh Ding Dongs? You ever heard of the Dicks? That sounds like a Joey Ryan thing. No, there was a tag team in like the early 2000s. They were just like um Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Uh, they were they were like they were oh. like really physically fit Chippendale dancers and they were just called the Dicks. Oh, so so rather it's a TNA thing. Yeah, pretty much. Wait, um, wait, was that in TNA around that no, point? No, no, it was a WWE thing. What? That sounds like early yeah. TNA, dude. No, that was that was like 2005 WWE, and also the tag team. Both members fucking hated each other, and they asked for their release, and WWE was like, okay. I mean, listen, they're called the Dicks. They had a. <laughs> I'd imagine they didn't have a strong shelf life to begin with. So, one, two, two. Okay, okay. good. Phew! I was worried for a second. I was I, like, no way. <laughs> the Shockmaster got him more offense than we thought he would get. Oh. Well, Here we go. Eli Drake. Yeah. Yeah. You and know what? Even, even with this attire, it still makes sense. So. Oh god, we get um we get Eli Drake in LA Knight. <laughs> wait, wait. You like Drake and who? Edge. Oh. You know what? That actually sounds sick as fuck. <laughs> really, just for promos alone, that would be great. Oh, I would, wouldn't it? Especially like with Heel Edge and Face Knight. Love it. It would be so good. Again, like, I just really love how how Knight didn't even have to change anything about himself. He was just turned baby face. I love, I went into your chat, and I love that Automod censored the word rod. Rod? It censored the word rod. What the fuck? TNA had the Johnsons, Dick and Rod, and came out in penis costumes. Dick and Rod? You know what? That's probably what I was thinking of. That's what I was thinking of, probably. Again, like, that. TNA, in like the first three years especially, was really fucking weird. <laughs> it was really weird. It was so bizarre. Just like um just like Shark Boy getting assist from a match by a guy in a Popeye costume. And uh and uh Jeff fucking Jared having a gun pulled out on him on TV. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I, I love that video so much. <laughs> of like the guy like saying, I'm even in the odds, and he pulls out the strap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen that video chat? I wouldn't. I need to find it on break. I need to find it on break. Hell yeah. But yeah, Vince Vince Russo sure was a person who existed. He still exists, and it sure people, was a person of all time. And people still take him seriously for some reason. Uh, like Jim Cornette. Much like Jim Cornette, no one should take these two seriously. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> especially Jim Cornette. Especially Jim Cornette. But anyways, uh, how to spot a gamer chat. I saw this shirt oh, all the time in high school. Weeks, weeks of unfinished home. Ho hold, on, hold on. How to spot a gamer. Weeks of unfinished homework. Always carrying the latest toy ad or gaming magazine. Bad back from sitting for days on end playing video games. Sore this thumbs hurts to read. Sore thumbs from constantly pressing controller buttons. Hold on, hold on. I need to I need to zoom in. Oh, fuck! It actually makes it worse. I, I love that there's like a medical diagnosis on the left too. Hold on, we'll get to it. Legs stuck in sitting position. If you happen to spot a wait, wait, hold on. Always carrying portable gaming device for emergency game time. Sore eyes from. From so much gaming and lack of sleep. Always saying, just one more level. 
Just one more level. One Dro more. Drooling at the thought of beating another game. Hands stuck in gaming position any time for ready to play at any time. Growling stomach from never stopping to eat. That's some ADHD pill shit right there, dude. Always oh, yeah. carrying portable gate. Oh, wait. If you happen to spot a gamer, the best thing to do is to give him all your video games or money for new video games is good, too. I hate this shirt so much, but also I would actually wear it. <laughs> if I ever go, <laughs> listen, you keep saying that you would go to fucking Yomacon with me or something, right? Yeah, I'd go. I will buy this shirt and I will wear it all weekend. <laughs> well, buy two, buy two, I'll wear one too. <laughs> we'll be matching. Buy my giraffe! He's over there wearing the same stupid shirt. Can someone find my doll, please? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, these two are a set. Do not separate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, well, again, I love that there's like a fucking WebMD medical diagnosis next to this as well. Wait, wait, where is it? Oh, like oh. <laughs> <laughs> the easiest way to spot the gaming merch. You, what, what the fuck is this? Hold on. Why is there a bruised wrist? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> How do you spot gamers? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. How do you do it, chat? <laughs> how how do you how do you spot gamers? Is it by the smell? This is one we gotta consult the long boy club on. <laughs> how do you do it? <laughs> Why does the dude look like one of the characters from Ed and Eddie? <laughs> and it does. Ed and Eddie sound effects are timeless, by the way. They're always funny. It, it will it will always, always, always be funny. Anyways, break time. <laughs> oh god, you break could break time, baby. You could smell the gaming club from down the hall in high school. I'm not joking. <laughs> Speaking of that Game over, yeah. Game over, yeah. Hey, you called it. Let's go! Oh my goodness, that was that was the anime club for me. <laughs> well, we can all talk about our uh, we can all talk about our weird uh, clubs in high school after the break. After these messages, we'll see you in a few minutes, chat. Sounds good. Uh, to break. I hope I hope before the night is out, Henry makes his presence felt. Hmm. Wink. A big ol' maybe. Wink. Hmm. Well, just wait. Uh, because now, hi Henry, uh, we are making the start of our second, rather second uh, round here in the bracket. Beginning with Kevin Steen versus El Generico. Uh, yeah, this has got to be extreme rules. No, no if, ands, or buts. How about Steel Cage? Oh, you know, that works too. Oh, Hell in a Cell. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Hell in a Cell. We're doing Hell in a Cell. Beautiful. At NXT in your house. Let's go. Uh, let's, let's go and grab Steen again. There he is. <laughs> also, I found there the... I found the... Uh, Rather, I saw the picture you sent of like the shirt that Steen was wearing, of like I fucking like a love that shirt. Head on the chair, that shit's mm. like uh, that shit's gnarly. Jeez, it was it was like the blood feud in Ring of Honor for years. Mm -hmm. Like I I love that so much. Yeah, Henry has gotten fatter. Uh, uh, since I took that video. <laughs> just, just, be, just became a little little bit of a thick ones, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. In fact, right now, he's uh, laying beside my legs. Hello, kitty. How you doing? Hello. New shirt. Ooh. New shirt. Whoop, whoop. New shirt. Whoop, whoop. 
a mugshot. It's it's just Kevin's mugshot. I didn't even know like he had this shirt. What? Yeah, he had an old uh, Kevin Steen guilty T-shirt. Cool, I guess. I don't know. Also, I, enjoy I, love keep, that, right? I enjoy Kill Steen Kill a bit more. You know, oh, completely understandable. <laughs> I don't want to know that Steen is a convicted felon. I'm actually like really excited for this. <laughs> this is gonna be. Please, I'm begging you. Somebody throw somebody off the cell, please. Oh no, we have the milk crate. You. We got the milk crate cell chat. Ow. All right, Ace. Let's see if you can do it. Here we go. Prize is a gifted sub. Oh, you just missed it. Sur surrender your Hamilton now. Keep on trying because the more points you invest, the sweeter that the sub's gonna feel. Okay. The it's sweeter it's one, one, one nice whole sub, and you get a bunch of giraffe, a bunch of giraffe emotes. <laughs> I owe twenty dollars. You owe more than twenty. I know that much. J just a little, a little more than twenty there. Everyone owes more than twenty. I know that Creep Show owes at least ten. Oh, easy. I'm still waiting on that. Yeah, uh, we'll have to, we'll have to see about that, buddy. I will wait patiently until it arrives. I will wait. Just just aggressively like sit on like your front front porch, arms crossed. Just, I will be patiently <laughs> waiting for my money. <laughs> I'm just molding. I spend my and points on go. making the homunculus make fun of your opinions. Thank you. <laughs> what? I mean, I mean that's easy to do. You know? That 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 that's that is just that, that's just easy. I got some pretty bad opinions, so For example, uh, Disco Inferno is not too bad, despite his bad opinions. Oh God, does he have a podcast? No, but he uh, he uh, talks a lot of shit on socials. Oh, like. And also, oh, I like think, any anybody. Isn't he? Isn't he like? Isn't he like I'm anti-trans too? I don't remember. I don't want to like say I things about people, especially in that context, that aren't true. But yeah, I have no idea. It's just I, I do I know that he said no some, some things that people think are not savory. But, but like, I just really enjoy, like, the the weirdness of his gimmick. And, mm. and props to him, he made it work for the entirety of WCW, basically. <laughs> now I'm kind of curious. Oh, this <laughs> is just going for It throughout the now. entire Monday Night War, so... Disco Inferno, uh, <laughs> Disco Inferno implies that um, Jay White's mask attacker could be Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> that would make no sense, though. <laughs> A uh, lot of people think that it's actually Adam Cole, and if it is, I will cry. <laughs> oh, what I'll the fuck so is bad. this? Disco Inferno calls for a Japanese heel faction in WWE to be called. <clears throat> Pearl Harbor, huh? That that's what Pearl. That's what fucking Disco Inferno says. He wants a Japanese faction in WWE, a heel Japanese faction, and he wants to call it Pearl Harbor. Great, because you know he's a fucking psycho. I wonder if Vince McMahon would sign off on that one. Oh God, Jeez, I, don't wanna know. <laughs> I almost don't want to know either. Jesus Christ. They're just beating the hell out of each other with that bat. That is mm, beautiful. You gotta bomb boats first. <laughs> no, we ain't doing it. They just have like a pre-filmed segment and where like they're like racing boats on the water and they're like dropping little like cheese it's on them. <laughs> Look at it go. I'm kind of curious. I found his fucking um. <laughs> I I found his Twitter, so now I'm just kind of I'm just kind of scrolling. Like, what the fuck do you? Oh, have? ooh, oh, 
<laughs> oh, we reversed the blue thunder good. bomb. Like we really should be paying attention to this. We were like hyping this up, and we're just not getting oh, yeah. attention. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> fuck, fuck Disco Inferno. Fuck you. We got a match going on in the ring right now. Oh, a meeting of the minds. What the? What the fuck? Here we go. Wait, do you want to talk about Disco Inferno again? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Disco Inferno anymore. Okay, but how about how about um Alex Wright? Shit. Oh God, who the fuck is Alex Wright? Immediate stunner. One. One. Two. Two. Three. What the? Oh fuck, fuck off. Get fucked. Is Kevin Steen about to run through this entire tournament with just a stunner? That's all it takes. That's all it oh, fucking takes. God. And we didn't even use the step. We didn't even use you, the stip at all. Boo. Okay, you know what? Undertaker versus Abyss is hell in a cell. I don't care. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have someone make use out of this fucking stip. We're doing this. We're fucking doing it. Wrestling in Boaz, Alabama, Yamamoto uh, gave one of the great uh, performances in pro wrestling. Before the start of the matches, he asked to give a statement to the crowd, which booed and hissed and threw things. In broken English, he said, "I wish." I wish to make a Oh no. Very sorry, oh, no. my country bomb per uh, harbor. And the crowd oh, quiets no. as he wipes away tears and they awe and sympathy. If wrong thing to do, I wish not happen. Yes, I wish not happen because instead I wish they bomb Boaz. Boo. That's a fucking. That gimmick is a non starter. Boo. Oh. <laughs> that is a non-starter of a gimmick. That's one where, like, you see it, and you just say, no, nah, I'm not going to do that, you know? Like, mm, nope, nope, I'm good. I'm good, no thank you. A complete non-starter. Anyways, this one here is a starter. It's Abyss versus The Undertaker, playa. Finally, after 15 years? That was, like, in the, fi in the 50s? That tracks. Uh, that actually really tracks. What the fuck? Oh man. Uh yeah, that really does track. That's uh hmm. I'm not sure about that one, dog. Oh, they're both 95s. Let's go. This is going to be a fucking stormer. But hold on, we need to make sure it's a stormer. This ain't ending Here in three we go. Minutes. I will make sure it doesn't end in three minutes. Here comes Abyss to dominate again. Yeah, Let's yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Before Mean Mark Calloway just comes back from the dead again. <laughs> this one has potential to be match of the night, though. Abyss just it, coming it, out here bringing five star classics. <laughs> God, for for me, it is still Minoru Suzuki and Abyss. This could top that, though. This could top that. Here we go. Here we go. Epic sight. Two absolute machines coming out in his uh, curtains that he bought from uh, Party City. It's Abyss. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's do this. Sorry, I spent on my gum. The cell hangs high above the ring. The scars on his <laughs> arms, the bruises on his fist, fresh from Minoru Suzuki. And now, he'll take out what he has left on one of the biggest icons in this business. The Undertaker. The Undertaker. Ho ho hoping to meet Kevin Kane Steen in the, in, the, in the very semifinals. <laughs> I was about to say, whoever wins this, they have to face Kevin Steen, who has been just barreling through his competition. He made short work of Hiromu Takahashi. He made even shorter work of El Generico. Whoever wins this match will be in for a hell of a contest. Anyways, we're skipping this because we already saw it and it's gonna take literally three minutes. <laughs> He's and basically Undertaker, the monster I, I love version you. of mankind. He is. Pretty much, yeah. He's why did... What? Why did Automod censor all of that except for version of mankind? <laughs> <laughs> What the what? fuck? What? It didn't censor it for me. Did it? It censored it for me. What the shit? What? 
Are you Twitch, sure? are you okay? I'm dead serious. I think Twitch, Twitch, are you okay? I think Twitch is kind of... I think Twitch is kind of checked out. Too much wrestling, dude. <laughs> oh, it's it sat through... Um, it sat through quite... Uh, it, it, it sat through WrestleMania before the two night model. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this God right here, damn, my dude, my dude. This right here is WrestleMania before the two night model because it's yeah, like fifteen matches. So hot take. I kind of miss the eight hour long okay, WrestleMania. Wait, wait. You kind of miss them? I do. I, I I miss the eight hour long WrestleManias. I think that the two night format has been an overall. A good thing for it. So. Like it has its benefits, it does. Anyway, I feel like I need to shut the fuck up before I get myself canceled for repeating 1950s territory promos. I was about to say, I mean, like, I, like I won't ban you because I can see context, but I don't think Twitch can see context, so maybe, maybe it's like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't ban you because of context, but you know, uh, Twitch, Twitch might not see it that way, <laughs> so yeah. Be a little careful Jeez, around already. Side. What the fuck? Abyss is just taking it to the Undertaker. Is the Cover Undertaker going to be able to survive one? One. Okay. After all that damage and all he gets is a one. Oh, but he's oh, not done. Oh. German suplex. And we're taking the Undertaker to suplex city tonight. <laughs> I told you Abyss would dominate. <laughs> he is dominating, yeah. He's just fucking killing it. Oh my god. Oh, now he has the bat. He's got the bat. Oh. Oh, and finally, the Undertaker might have something. He's got him set up on the ropes. Bat in hand. No. Oh, no. And Janice wasn't able to be used. Ab <laughs> and Abyss intercepts. And he intercepts again. Why doesn't the bat have nails on it? Or nails? Yeah, Janice has uh, Janice has lost her bite in the last few years. That's to say. Abyss doesn't work that way anymore, brother. Better yet, can you delete that comment, please? Just all of them, please and thanks. I, oh, wait, I'm not a mod. I can't do that. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, sure, I was like, you, you have the, I was like, you have the power to do that? I should. I don't think I can, actually. <laughs> uh, not unless I ban you. Oh, wait, hold on. No! <laughs> I can time it out. Hold on a second. You could you could just type out time out a like a single comment. Hold on. I'm so curious how that works. I'm literally looking this up. <laughs> Meanwhile, here comes Creep Show doing the commentary. Abyss finally climbs his way back in. Oh, Undertaker is just hammering Haymakers onto Abyss. And he, oh, throws Abyss right into the turnbuckle. And Undertaker still just hammering away Haymakers at all. Oh, and he's doing a choke with his foot. I don't know what the fuck they call that. And oh, and we're gonna throw Abyss. This match is starting to get competitive. And Undertaker going for the cover one, and he only gets the one. Yes, yes, Sumire from uh, from a Persona Five Royal Sumire. Don't shit talk her. That right there is a timeout. There it is. Why would anyone <laughs> ever do that? Sumire is precious. Well, you don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't understand the chaotic nature of Ashley of the galaxy. Okay. Who the fuck is Sumire? Okay, so that is a character in Persona 5, right? And uh -huh. that is basically the canonical love interest of the protagonist. Uh, oh, okay. I've seen her before. Yeah. And she was who I ended up romancing. Speaking of romancing, I don't want to romance an ad break, but we got to do it. We're all rolls we'll on. Back in picture, in picture. In picture, in picture. Don't go. It's anywhere. time for ninety seconds. Cheetos break, my dudes. Here we go. Here is hoping that Taker and that Taker and Abyss don't just finish up by then. But no, it's just one counts. 
One counts from both of these men. Neither are giving an inch. Both of these men are just beating the shit out of each other and maybe enjoying it a little. <laughs> you have to think that at least Abyss has taken a bit of pleasure in taking it to one of the greatest of all time. You Snake eyes on the rope. Fuck. Cover. One, two, and only the two. First, first two count. First two count. Here we go. Here we go. Kendo stick. Oh, and he just drops forgets it. the kendo stick. <laughs> if Abyss wins this match, he gets a ticket to to one dead man show. <laughs> oh, and a choke slam a straight choke to slam. Abyss. One, two, no. Oh, God. Come on, Abyss. I want Abyss to win. Welcome back to Raw. <laughs> Come on. Here we go. I do kind of want Abyss to go the distance, yeah. Oh, shit! Jeez! Oh. Just completely picks him up. That's 300 pounds of man right there. That's a whole bunch of meat. Truly really is meat slapping meat. <laughs> I can hear the crowd just chanting meat, meat right now. Meat, meat, I meat, just, meat, I meat. Lo I love how they chanted that during Miro and Hobbs. It was really funny. <laughs> God, my friends were trying to get that started at AEW the other night. Um, oh, fuck, what was the match? Oh, it was uh, Brian. It was Brian Cage, Claudio, and uh, Nick Jackson. Uh, no, no, no. It does. It doesn't work unless. Unless all the guys in the ring are like big brick, rather a big brick shit houses, you know? And only one of them wasn't. <laughs> I don't know if Claudio counts. I mean, like, he's certainly built, but I don't think he's like, you know, a Cage or Miro built, you know? You, you don't think he's like that beefy? Like, he's beefy he... to an extent, but not that beefy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think he's like. Uh, to the extent in where he's like a big meat house Makes type. Sense. <laughs> you know what? This right here really. Oh God, here we go. You know what? You know what? Perfect timing because finally the Undertaker's coming back. Will like, we actually is, get outside the cell in this Hell in a Cell oh! match? <laughs> like this is this is infinitely better than fucking Generico and Steam. It was though. It was. Wait. Oh. Ah, running, running power slam. I thought we were getting ready for a tombstone. I'm Same. like, no, oh, but now we're getting the tombstone, baby. But wait, wait, tombstone. Here we go. Oh, and not immediately covering him. These men are spent. Will this be it? One, two, no. Oh, oh and Abyss kicks out. That's the monster Abyss for you will not completely give up. We don't even know if he's really human. One. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got that right, Creep Show. Only one tombstone will not do it to this man. One, two, no. I was going to say, if he managed to get a three there, but bludgeoning him with a hammer sure will. This right here and is a WrestleMania right streak match, up. dude. It really is. <laughs> it could have been. Damn it! Abyss's loyalty to Impact. <laughs> do we do we know if he is an unlicensed lawyer? To Abyss. Abyss. I know that he's no, he, a. I know that he's a psychiatrist. He's a he's a producer for WWE. He is though. Yeah, he actually is a producer for WWE. He's, he's just he's grabbing the, him by the throat and planting him to the ground. Here we go. Black Abyss with the statement. No. No, Undertaker blocks the black hole slam. No, Abyss has been the one producing Gunther's matches. So I'm like, oh, if you're the one producing Gunther's matches, fucking Ooh. goddamn, you get a promotion. Hey, Fizium. Hello. Let's see if you can get it, my friend. Nope. Uh -huh. Ten bucks for my birthday. Or maybe you, you, you must surrender your Alexander Hamilton right now. <laughs> you must, must give me all your money. And this WWE fan won't blow it on WWE champions, we promise. <laughs> on W <laughs> No, no, instead I'll blow it on championship belts. 
I literally I... have two replicas. For I have two replicas. Thank you for following Fiend Barry. You're now a member of the Long Boy Club for life. For life. life. Thank you very much for following. How you doing? Jesus, what is what is happening? Was that a black hole slam? Oh god, I looked two. away for a second. Two! No! Oh, oh shit! What a match! More than that. What a match between these two Hello, bosses! <laughs> I'm just gonna lurk for now. I'm currently at work. Well, thank you very much for fucking lurking anyways. It's very kind of you. Enjoy your Enjoy work, Fizzy. Bring back some chicken wings while you're out there. I haven't had chicken wings in a while. God. What chicken wings? Tom Ooh. Tomorrow is tomorrow's football day, and I'm like, my neighbor brought home. Uh, my neighbor gave it. My neighbor likes to cook food and just give it to us sometimes. Like she'll just make shit and just give it to us. My neighbors like and that too. Like he'll go he'll barbecue stuff up, or he'll have just like a surplus of salmon for some reason, and he'll be like, "Hey, hey, uh, you two want some of this?" And like you know, we're we're like uh. We're like uh, two fucking guys in our mid twenties. Of course, we're not gonna turn that down. So, yeah. Um. So my neighbor Hello, brought Mario. home like barbecue kebabs. <laughs> Wait, like, kebabs? Yeah, like barbecue kebabs, like bits of like ribs and shit like that. And there's like some vegetables in there too. So it's like, oh, that sounds really good. Oh, yeah, that sounds awesome. You know what? I used to not like vegetables of any kind, but once you roast that stuff, it becomes absolute money. Fucking, there, there are some veggies where it's like, it's so good. It's so good. Eat your greens, chat. Eat your fucking greens. I promise that broccoli becomes better once you saute it with Lowry salt. No, another tombstone. Oh God, here we Wait, go. Here we go. That's it. That's the match over with right there. Oh, and Undertaker is just spent. But can he make it? Can he make the cover? Can you Here do we it? Go. One, One, two, two, three. Three. Good effort by Abyss. Good effort. What a hell of a match. And Undertaker will, will go to the semifinals to wrestle Kevin Steen. He survived all this punishment from Abyss. Will he be ready for the stunner? We've learned it only takes one. It takes one only. You know, you know, Giraffestev universe, at least it at least it's not Roman Reigns. Long boy universe. Long boy universe. <laughs> Long boy club universe. Uh Fiendberry. Of course, man, anytime. I'm surprised I don't see my favorite wrestler in the ring. Unfortunately, do not have that DLC. Uh I had the Steiner DLC because I needed it for for uh, Hiromo Takahashi, but I do he's not one of my favorite wrestlers. It's one of yeah, yeah. It's one of Creepshow's favorite wrestlers. I'm sure that Creepshow would have chosen Bray Wyatt or the Fiend if I had that DLC though. Oh but, God, easily, easy. I would have picked Bray. I mean, you could have said it. I would have bought it. So damn it. Uh, it's okay. It's all good. Hold on. We need to go and update our bracket first. No. No, it's Cody Rhodes. Wait, wait. Oh. Oh, I thought like by the name. <laughs> I thought that by your screen name, like your favorite was The Fiend. Adrenaline. 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 I am not The Fiend. <laughs> Kevin Steen, Undertaker. And now this one the actually. Oh, dude. This one on paper, like in their primes, would have been an absolute stormer. I feel like. Oh, Booker T and Hangman, easy. Yeah. That would have been like a sleeper hit, I feel like. Mm hmm. Anyways. Oh, we get Edge and LA Knight. Oh. Oh. Scott Steiner's DLC. Not just Scott Steiner, Varsity Scott Steiner. <laughs> because. And Rick, too. And Rick, too. Uh, now, the bad thing about it is that there's no big pop of pump Scott Steiner uh, coded into the game. You have to make that yourself. But you do get Scott Steiner in here. And you could make him into Big Papa Pump if you wanted. So. Which, you know what? I really should have done that and just, like, made my WCW pick Scott Steiner. But whatever. <laughs> I should have He'll made my Goldberg, but no. <laughs> He'll just math them to death. Yeah. No, I, I, I look back in hindsight. I should have gotten fucking Goldberg. 
you know, they say all men are created equal, but you look at me and you look at Kevin Steen, and you can see that statement is not true. <laughs> I love MJF just did that word for word. I know. He like copy my whole fucking flow, word for word, bar for bar. He fucking he fucking did it without skipping a beat too in one take. <laughs> it's it's too good. MJF is a treasure. I fucking love him. See, normally when you go one on one with another wrestler, you got a 50 50 chance of winning. But Kevin Steen is a genetic freak and he's not normal. So I have a 25% at best at beat him. <laughs> 25% at best chance of beating him. <laughs> Anyways, oh, Hangman Page. Yes. Uh, hold on. I need to go get him. I need to wake him up. Come on, dude. Up, Hangman. You're fighting Booker. You're fighting Booker tonight. Let's Here go. we go. Let's go and wrangle him up. Where is? Oh yeah, that's right. There he is. <laughs> I'm actually dumb right now, chat. Here we LB go. LBU is better than MCU, the Long Boy Universe. I love that the Long oh, Boy wait, no Club. It. Oops, I accidentally pressed something. Either way, we're off Here to we the go. races. Jesus Christ! Immediately, Hangman. Hey man, coming with that same fire that he gave to Robert Roode earlier in the night. Oh, and a DDT immediately to Booker T. He, he's not letting rhyme. up on Booker T here in the early goings. Springboard clothesline. I hate that that rhymed. Holy shit. <laughs> what did? Uh, I said DDT to Booker T. <laughs> DDT to Booker T. DDT to Booker T. Bars. You have to. <laughs> Bars. Bars. <laughs> I need to see. The... I need need to see this. Wait, MJF did Steiner math. Okay, listen, listen. I'll find the video. I won't show it because of copyright, but I'll find the video and I'll share the audio. Okay. We got you. We got you. MJF. Steiner math. MJF. Oh my god. Math. Oh my god. There's even like a little edit. It's good. Okay. <laughs> here it is. I'll just play it right now. Oh wait. Here we go. And if you don't believe me, let me get it through your thick, fat skull with some simple math. See, normally if you go one on one with another wrestler, you got a 50 50 chance of winning. But I'm a genetic freak and I'm not normal. So you got a 25% <laughs> chance at best to beat me. Then you add my boy Cole watching my back to the mix, your chances of winning drastically go down. See, at our match. I love how he has correct grammar. Of winning, but I got a 66 and two third chance of winning because everyone in New York knows you can't beat me. So, Samoa Joe, you take your 33 and one third chance minus my 25% chance, and you got an eight and one third chance of winning a Grand Slam. But then you take my 75% chance of winning since we're wrestling in my home state of New York and then you add 66 and two third percent chance I got <laughs> one and two third percent chance of winning at Grand Slam see Joe the numbers don't lie and they spell disaster for you in Arthur Ashe disaster disaster I fucking love Adam Cole is just chilling there in the background I know yeah. it's actually incredible though now oh Jesus Oh, MJF, dude, anyone else, and that would have come off as really corny. Anyone really else. would have. Anybody else. It was flawless, yeah. Like, like, like he didn't even like stop. No, no fuck-ups at all. He didn't stop. He even, he even took in the time to add in, like, correct grammar in places. <laughs> Jeez. Frog splash the Jesus outside. Hang, man. Okay, Hangman, go off, I guess. Not a single error. And and once again, the math adds up. So. Math adds up. The math adds up, as it always does. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Also, I realized out of all the wrestlers we picked, I have one left. <laughs> I just have The Undertaker. <laughs> you have The Undertaker left. Literally Wait, everybody else I picked has been eliminated. Yeah, I picked some better favorites. 
<laughs> oh shit, I probably do. God <laughs> damn, hangman. Tongue in cheek. One, two. Man. All right. Now we got a match okay. on our hands, folks. Hangman's is beating the tar out of Booker T, but okay, cool. Here we go. Oh, Pop wait, here off. we are. Here we are. Popping off. Popping off. Here we go. Bringing some Harlem oh. heat into this match. <laughs> Bringing some Harlem heat. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know what Steiner's what Steiner's uh, degree was in. Maybe it was math. I mean, I can tell you it wasn't like uh, literature because he had several he had several uh, grammar errors in his original promo. So. Yeah. Oh, that tracks. <laughs> See, Undertaker, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you when you face off against Kevin Steen. You better get ready. There has to have been someone on the community creations that made uh, Big Papa Pump Steiner. I was going to say, there's there's no shot. No shot that doesn't exist in, in I was about to say, there's like no chance that someone hasn't made it. I almost want to you, check. Have you seen that... Um, you seen that promo where Jeez. MJF calls Roderick Strong a, a C-A-W? He calls him a generic white guy at one point. He, he just calls him a generic caw, and I'm like, oh, you know, create a wrestler. Okay. And you know, he's not wrong. <laughs> I See, Rod Roddy has great entrance music, but God, he's boring as shit. I, listen, he used to be boring as shit. I will give it this, okay? He fucking... He fucking refused to get lost in the shuffle. And right now he's incredibly pathetic as a character, but that's what makes him memorable. Watch him be like this he's mastermind of some watch him be like some mastermind of this like horrible plan and like he was behind the whole thing this entire time. I would not be surprised if there's like a larger thing going on with him in this plot. But right now, Wrong. I just think it's funny that he's like preaching on about neck health and stuff. <laughs> neck strong. And he's always like, Adam. Adam, it's an emergency. Are we gonna get double counted out? How do we? I was gonna say, how wait, the fuck wait. do we? Okay, okay, good. <laughs> Fucker. I was about to say, like, is he is he gonna take the count out win? <laughs> Like, what the fuck? I was gonna say, if they both get counted out, how the fuck do we settle that? Coin flip? Uh... I don't know, I mean, like, what would probably end up happening is that... We just... We just kind of pick someone to proceed, and then whoever wins the next match... Uh, we simply just give them a bye. So... Yeah. Okay. Oh, Jesus, Booker T just came immediately <laughs> back. Yeah, I know. Here we go. Here we go. The scissors kick. That's it. I actually really, I actually really like that as a finisher. I do too. That's good. And one, two, two. Nah. Oh, oh Hangman's still alive. Hangman's still in this. Hangman is still in the fight. Oh, <laughs> God, I was like, why is my phone buzzing? I'm like, oh, I love Pokemon Go on. Oh, 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 what's Here you got? We go. Oh, the, f <laughs> the body the splash. What was that? What was that? <laughs> it was a splash from the top and didn't connect. Going up Oops. top. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Come on. Come on, Booker T. Let's go. Let's go. Jeez. Back body drop. Now he's on the receiving end of more punishment. Jeez. Well, hey, this just turned out to be a bop. Holy shit. Yeah, I know. I love that there's little spurs on the back of Hangman's boots. I do too. It's so cool. <laughs> Jeez, wait. What the wow. hell? Why are you breaking his arm? This is surprisingly technical for Hangman Page. Boom! <laughs> Break his fingers? Break his fingers. No, don't break his fingers. That sounds awful. That sounds terrible. Do we really have another ad coming up? Fucking hell, Bezos. I hate you. I hate you so much. One, two, 
No offense, professional wrestling get only rare glimpses of Professor Steiner's genius, such such as his um, eloquent proof of victory over Kurt Angle and Samoa Joe. He is well known in academic circles as <laughs> as Big Papa Polynomial, or and and uh, the algebraic freak. The algebraic freak. I I actually kind of like that. Oh, Big bookend, Papa bookend. Polynomial. Here we go. Polynomial. One. No rope break. Fuck. Man, we're cooking here in the semifinals. Here we go. Here we go. We're fucking cooking here, dude. Wouldn't this be the quarterfinals? Oh, yeah, yeah. And this then, would be the quarterfinals. And then, yeah. And then, like, Undertaker and Kevin Steen would be, like, the semifinals, and then we have the finals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But, like, we're fucking cooking in, uh, cooking here in the quarterfinals, yeah. Oh, it is. It is. It is cooking. Jesus Christ. You just have, like, all these stiff strikes from, like, both these men. Jeez. Here we go. Oh! Oh, we got ourselves an elbow drop right to the back. I love like Big Papa Polynomial. That's <laughs> actually polynomial. That's actually incredible. Did you come up with that yourself? Jeez! Stiff knees! Boom! Oh, the BTE trigger! The BTE trigger! <laughs> does he does he ever do that or am I tripping? He does not do that unless he's with the Bucks. No. Ew, the Bucks. What do you mean, ew, the Bucks? Ew, the Bucks. Oh, <laughs> phenomenal moonsault. Nice. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Yeah. There you fucking go. Now that's. I that's what I like to see. I can very easily see Hangman in the finals of this shit. <laughs> if he wins the whole thing, I'll be very happy. <laughs> hey fiend right. there's your cody Rhodes stuff right there adrenaline ba -ba -da -ba. adrenaline in my soul my name is not cody Rhodes. same man adam page dave Meltzer loved that of course he would have loved it of course he would have loved it yeah it reminded him of uh kenny and okada in the tokyo dome tongue and cheek like like fucking seven years ago. <laughs> All right, now we gotta run an ad. Fuck, Raw rolls on after this. It's time for oh, 90 wait, seconds picture, picture. cheaters picture, picture, break, yeah. my dudes. Hey man, Paige advances, and now, after the break, we have Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, man. this will be good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see it. Which one are we get? Rugrats. Ah, oh, attitude. We have to begin with a That's perfect. WWF attitude. <laughs> we <laughs> we rarely get this one. version, the PlayStation version did not live up to expectations. The graphics are very disappointing. This one gets wild entrances. quickly, uh, though. Graphics are, dis are graphics well are dis done. disappointing. It's Some the N64. Have entrances. I wish more than four players could be in the ring at once. Special tight are triple not H in the manual, is really weird to see. In the oh, I hate section. that. I hate his old tights. Controls tight. are okay, but the 400 plus moves are not easy to remember. And have oh yeah, that's right. That's when they had like button combinations button. for like. For example, the ask like, all of the moves. I love, I love that your ad break ran Still, one ad and it was like, nope, nope, nope. nope we coming back. <laughs> We're coming we back to attitude. Fun creating three fat black ladies fighting one skinny white what? turd. Yes. You don't get to do that every day. Do you want to do oh. that? Oh. oh. And they this, this just got black out of control real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, this right here is the only reason I included it. <laughs> because it's just so, like, out of left field and strange and weird and terrible. Out out of left pocket. It really, it really is. Like, everything about George Wood is out of pocket. <laughs> One minute you're just, like, talking about a potential game where you're driving your wife to a hospital, and then next you're like, Yeah, yeah, beat up the white turd, please. This is not George Wood. The producer did this. Oh yeah, that's right. This right here is Tom Allen. He wrote all this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If if his producer told him to jump off a bridge, would he do that too? <laughs>
Well, well you don't know how uh, how um, uh, susceptible to uh, peer pressure he is. Okay. Well, and we're back to the actual action. Hey, welcome back to Raw. <laughs> and now, and now, it is time for... The duel. You know, Eli, Drake, and Edge. You know, I'm going to make this false count anywhere. Okay. This feels like something that would happen in real life. <laughs> this feels like a matchup oh, in this match type that would happen in real life. If only I had picked Goldberg, we could have gotten the Battle of the Spears. <laughs> really could have. Because I, I don't think I don't think Eli Drake beats Goldberg. I don't think he does either. He's very influenceable. <laughs> He's a, he has a very impressionable mind. Here we Here go. We go. I thought I thought Edge was going for a spear like immediately. immediately yeah. Let's maybe take references mm -hmm. of you know that out of our text messages, Ace. I'm sorry, say it again one more time. Let's maybe take references of game ending out of either a game ending yourself out of text messages, either out of uh, chat messages. Just in terms of keeping, you know, the channel safe. <laughs> Completely fair. I was like, what the fuck? Can That's you delete so that? Hmm. Well, I tried to delete something earlier, and that didn't work, so... <laughs> Here, I'll time you out. Or rather, I'll purge. There you go. <laughs> Welcome to purge. There, I purged it. 74 messages were deleted by the moderator. There you go. Oh my god! Holy shit, what? <laughs> That's a lot! <laughs> 74 messages. Sorry, I wasn't. No, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Holy shit. You know what? I appreciate Ashley because she's always active in chat. Oh my god. Oh, oh I we're, going, we're just going straight into the Boston Crab? Okay, okay. I appreciate lurkers, but I also appreciate the people who are active in chat. We love you all very much. Yes, we do. Jesus Christ. I feel like Drake's getting a shit push in, kinda. Oh, but only the one count. Ooh, nice. A real back and forth contest here. Mm. Wait, wait, already go. burning hammer? Oh, okay. Oh, no. Backbreaker. All right, well, all right, well, suddenly he's my favorite wrestler. <laughs> Well, shit, okay. I Nothing fucking love neck breakers. Sip of water. Drink, damn you. Thank you. That neck breaker made me really dry. <laughs> the neck breaker made me dry. Sweating up profusely at the thought of at the thought of broken neck. Oh god. <laughs> Stein, Steiner's degree was in education. I am not lying. What? Hold on, now Hold on. I'm curious. No, 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 no. I'm checking. That's finer. I'm checking Hold this. On. Okay. Did he really? I don't know. You're going to have to look for it yourself. Business ventures. Championships and accomplishments. After earning his master's degree in special education from Wright State in 2005, Steiner began teaching English at Middletown City Schools and coaching football and wrestling at nearby Fenwick High School. You know? Okay, what a Chad. What I'm not gonna lie, Chad. that's fucking okay. terrifying. What? No like, way. Wrong Scott Steiner. What? Wait, wrong, wrong Scott Steiner? <laughs> Who is this Scott Steiner? What, what fucking Scott Steiner are you talking about? 
Oh God, Edge is, Ed, Edge is just like, no, no, I ain't going down this way. <laughs> you will go Here down go. this way, yeah. Yeah. Come Edge. On, fucking kicks out of the one. Edge, dummy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Blam the test. Dummy, yeah. Can I post a link? Sure. Sure. Sure, go ahead. That's actually <laughs> fucking mental. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. That's beautiful. That's actually incredible. I don't know if I would let wrestling Scott Steiner teach me English, not after that promo. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I would do that either. Bootydaddy.com slash stats. Attended I'll click on it. Oh my god. We earned a degree in education. I don't know if I should trust this webpage that doesn't it like looks like it was made in like It's so small. In like 2004. He does have a it's bachelor's so in education. Small. I can't believe that. That's insane to me. There's zero chance, zero shot. That's crazy. Oh, this, this, wait a minute, hold on. There, okay, so there's like a photo section of this website, right? That there are like pictures from his matches. You can't access them unless you make an account to booty daddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not fucking doing that. Oh, yes. You know what? I can't trust many things in life to not steal my data, but if there's one thing I can trust, it's uh, it's bootydaddy.com. Sorry, no, I'm not making an account. I'm not making an account to see Stacy Keyboard Strip Tease. Not fucking seeing. Huh? That. There's a section for photos on that website because Stacy Keyboard was um in kayfabe forced to be Scott Steiner's manager. Yes. And there's this, there's just a photo section on there that says Stacy Keyboard Strip Tease, and I'm like, no, I think I'm good. <laughs> we'll get the Twitch channel banned on the spot. <laughs> like, I think I think I'm okay. I'm good. <laughs> oh, these two are just trying to kill each other. What the fuck? You know what? I'll make like a dummy email account. Dummy, yeah. Uh, dummy. And I'll just. Okay, there's your burning right. hammer, kid. Jeez. Just say, is he about to do another one? What is he about to do? Oh! On the Boom. glass. On the glass barricade. On the whole glass. I cannot believe it. I'll make like a dummy email and I'll make an account to like bootydaddy.com and I'll report my findings. <laughs> you you, you want to see the Stacy keyboard strip tease? If some parents check their, if some if some kids' parents check their history, uh, how would they explain booty daddy? <sighs> you don't understand, it's from mom. This wrestler who hasn't been active in like fucking twelve years. You, s you see, mom. They say all, they say all men are created equal. <laughs> but you look at your Facebook page and then you look at uh, bootydaddy.com, and then you can see that statement is not true. <laughs> Spear! 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 One! Two! Three! We're on to the semis! We're on it's to the Edge semis. Edge and Hangman! The battle of the blonde people that that made me fall in love with wrestling. <laughs> oh god, and then we have Kevin Steen versus The Undertaker on the other side of the bracket. This tournament is shaping up to be a fucking banger! <laughs> Now the question is, can The Undertaker last five minutes in the ring with, with Kevin, Steen. Kevin Steen? Let's see. But first Edge? we need... Yeah. Going over? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so suddenly you're an edge mark now, huh? Too f yeah. Typical fickle wrestling fans. Fickle! Fickle wrestle... Fickle. Fickle. Uh, hold on. Fickle. Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> oh, goodness. Just because you're calling yourself out homunculus doesn't make it better, okay? Anyways. We're, we're almost to the finish line. We're almost there, chat. We're almost Are there. Are you ready? Are you ready for the most insane shit? Now, here's where the seal cage is going to come in, okay? Okay. This right here is where... I, because I want a steel cage at least once in this show. So... One box. One, one box. box. And see in your house. We got ourselves Kevin Steen and The Undertaker. And The Undertaker. Ah. Ah. I stated the facts. I never said I was an edge mark. I'm saying the homunculus is an edge mark. Not you, the homunculus. Yeah, exactly. Bum, bum, bum. Uh. Step on up and see if you can All right. What do I got? In a steel cage. Let's see. Let's try your luck. Ah, Creature, oh, you owe me 10 more bucks. I expect Damn it, my birthday. that's okay. Or maybe you didn't. <laughs> Speaking of, chat, uh, before we uh, finish up for the night, I may as well tell you about a little thing that we're doing on Monday. Uh, I'll let you know after this match. I'll let you know after the match. Go, go. Damn it. Pain. Fucking hell. Well, All right. The Undertaker's just beating the shit out of Kevin Stane. <laughs> and suddenly Kevin's getting his shit pushed in. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh-oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. What the heck? Multiple strikes. Right, there you go. I have a, a feeling... A lot of Irish whips. <laughs> a lot of Irish whips, yeah. Wait, no. Get the fuck out of town. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> was so close to just climbing out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> not this one. Scene don't throw hands with Taker. I was about to say, you're not going to win a slug fest with the dead man. That is a losing battle. No, come on. No. Oh my God. <laughs> you need, Taker, you need to work a match. You got no, I don't. I'm the fucking Undertaker. <laughs> Did you not see that classic I put on with Abyss Pal? I've done my time tonight. <laughs> so far, zero body damage on the Undertaker. Until now. I know you're a brawler, but you don't box with God. <laughs> box with God? Ta Taker wants an easy paycheck. I just think he wants a nap. He's already done like two matches on the night. <laughs> He's like, come on, give me a moment to breathe. He's fulfilled his like yearly uh, contractual obligations in one night. All right. Did, did we essentially just like make a King of the Ring tournament? We kind of did, didn't we? We kind of just made yeah. a king of the ring. Oh my god, I thought... I was like, wait a minute, where, where's this... Throw hands with contact, Mike. <laughs> Jeez, just picking him up and toss him on the ground. Well, I'll say so far this is like way more competitive than the other Kevin Steen matches. No, I know, it's actually like been pretty competitive so far. You don't box with God or throw hands with contact, Mike. You never throw hands with contact, Mike. <laughs> Such a bad idea. Oh no, I'm. Th oh no, I'm talking about a contact microphone. Uh, contact Mike just just beats people up. <laughs> like the whole. Oh God damn it! Like the character explains what a contact microphone is to you. And then uh -huh. your brain just goes off on a tangent about like contact mic and it's <laughs> and like the voice inside your head is like your mangled brain would like you to know that there's a boxer called contact mic. 
and like you can respond by saying, "Okay, but like, but, like, uh, can it tell me anything about myself, like my name or how I got here?" And the voice will be like, "No, you're welcome." Nah, nah. This is just information you have. You um, jeez. You have fun with that. Uh, Disco is a deceptively funny game sometimes, even though it has like a lot like of really really hard sort of themes in it. It can be like really witty at times. It gets a little harsh. <laughs> yeah. It really doesn't get oh. any better than this. Any better, both inside and outside the ring. Stop. <laughs> point at someone. Someone in the distance. Point your finger at him. He will point his finger back at you, vaulting an impassable gulf of finance and privilege to... Undertaker. <laughs> drip Prince 1205. That's awesome. Thank you for following. The drip Prince. You're now a member of the Long Boy Club for life. Thank you for following, my friend. Hopefully you're doing well. We are on the semifinals of our little tournament that we're doing. Oh, just in time. Oh, my God. Just in time. That's actually crazy. <laughs> Are you going to throw Undertaker to the mat, Kevin? Is that what you're going to do? This is actually ins <laughs> Nope, he's going to try to escape himself. It's a race! <laughs> it's a fucking race! <laughs> oh no, they're going to fight on the... They're going to fight on the top of the cage. Ooh! Ooh! Oh. <laughs> oh like, he just the... <laughs> like the Undertaker just got a No. Oh shit. That's it. That's it. The oh, Undertaker's go. going to the finals. Yeah. And the winner baby. of the match. It's the dead man. You know, at least someone that I picked is going to the finals. <laughs> oh, who are you fighting, Taker, Edge or Hangman? I really want it to be Hello, Hangman. Mario. Come on. Come on. Come on, Taker. Hello there, Drip Prince. How you Here doing? we go. <laughs> Lackluster. Lackluster. Wow, tell me how you really feel, Dave. Meltzer's on some shit tonight, dude. He'll like, he'll like give a three minute match four stars, but then he'll give something with some actual competition. One he, and a half. He's just having a time. He's on some shit tonight. Anyways, Undertaker's in the finals. It'll be one of these two men, the Battle of the Blondes. Who, when I look, who, when I look at them side by side, they look weirdly similar. <laughs> yeah, just just a little bit, just a little bit. I mean, they're two like you know, uh, buff uh, blonde dudes. So, uh, hold on. That's a whole lot of blonde buff dude. Now we're gonna we're gonna have another match here. We're gonna do. Hmm. No holds barred, I guess, which is which I guess is just no disqualification. But I, I would I, I would say so, yeah, I think that's what that is. Yeah, like I don't really get what the difference between that is and just and just like a normal sort of a no disqualification match, but whatever. Uh honestly the same. Either way. Here we go. Here we go. Jinx you <laughs> owe me a fucking soda. Meltzer's on Wait, wait, you still need a soda? No, I already no, I already drank it. I'm just like, I'll pick another. I want another soda. Cowboy shit, indeed. Come on, Hangman, you got this. <laughs> Why is Hangman so tiny compared to Edge right now? Isn't Edge like actually tall as shit? Is he? No, I'm curious. How 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 fucking tall is Edge? Come on, Hanger, you got this. Right, I gotta put some no, music on. No, not Microsoft Edge. WWE Edge. Okay, I gotta put some music on. 
just like some epic battle music. Yeah, like, yeah Skyrim music. Here we go. It's fucking Skyrim music. This is like weirdly ill-fitting. <laughs> it's too funny. It is. It is. We'll keep it. 160, rather 196 centimeters tall. Uh, page is 183 centimeters tall. Oh. So he's actually a little smaller than Edge. Okay. But probably by like, I don't know, like one, one, one and a half inch, maybe. <clears throat> it, it's going to be so fitting that finally somebody I picked is going to the fucking finals. <laughs> and it's somebody say. that you picked is going to the finals. We're going to have a winner. <laughs> <laughs> we will have a winner finally. It's not going to be decided in the semis. It's not going to be decided in the quarters. No. Thank you very much for hopping on over to the to the uh, Discord, Drip Prince. Welcome to the Discord. We appreciate, brother. We appreciate having you there. We. Uh, it's we, uh, time do, for uh, ninety seconds. Cheetos break my dudes. And and we'll on after this. Picture. In picture in picture, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after these messages. So yeah, the thing about it is that you will need to make sure that you're verified. So you know, just make sure that you click the little, a uh, click the little check mark there, and you'll be good. You'll be just fine. Mm -hmm. And the ad is already done. Wait, wait, is it? Yeah, it was like 30 seconds. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I guess welcome back to Raw. Hold on a second. I want to make sure that, like... What is... Oh, he actually does have the slingshot lariat as one of his finishers. Which is just the buckshot say, it'd be, lariat. It'd be, it'd be weird if he didn't have the buckshot. I almost didn't think that, like, it was in this game. Like, I checked for it. But there it is, lo and behold. He's got to have the buckshot. No way. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Oh! Come on. Oh! Battle of the Blondes. Let's go. Come on. Dun, 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 <laughs> I have, like, multiple people in my server that, like, intended to sort of join, but they're not verified, so they're not seeing anything. And, uh... Oh, no! <laughs> And like it has been that way for like, like more than a few weeks, and I'm just like, hey, hey, uh, you know you have to click the little check mark, right? Or did you just kind of? I think I was gonna say I space. think I need to do that for my server as well. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, um, you should be verified. Hold on a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something here real quick in the server. Yeah, go for it. You're good. But yeah, I know Hangman is uh, from Virginia. He's not Canadian at all. Virginia. Uh, here we go. Here we go. West We're gonna Virginia. try and uh, West Virginia Mountain Mama. We're gonna try and break Edge's arm already. Okay. <laughs> Break his finger. What? Break okay. his fingers. Bam, 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 bam. bam. <laughs> Why does nice. NXT want bloodshed? They tape it all in Florida. Of course they want bloodshed. They tape it all in Florida. <laughs> Welcome to Orlando. Welcome to Orlando. Do you want your fingers? <sighs> They're... They're simply taking out aggressions, okay? Pretty much. Just taking out aggressions over, <laughs> over the fact they have to live in Florida. Every day I wake up and I'm in Florida, hits the wall. Every, every day I wake up! I love that so much. <laughs> Damn. Every day I wake up at Florida Radiant, bam. What the? Huh? Who? Who? Who is 
fucking Hangman's rival. Who the fuck? Who? Who was that? Chat. Chat, I'm I sorry, like I didn't recognize the music. I'm playing 2K23 right now. Nice. Hey, it's very fun. Sweet. Oh, Spear! Spear! Immediately. One. One. Two. No! Two. Oh. Holy shit. Holy shit. Undertaker already <laughs> playing mind games and hasn't even happened yet. Oh shit, I love Limp Bizkit. Hey, roll and roll and roll. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Okay, so... So... So here's a question, right? Because, like, I don't know, like, if it's genuine or not. Okay? Uh-huh. Uh, do you actually like... Rather, rather, uh, do you actually like uh, Limp Bizkit? You know, there's actually some real banger songs that they have, but like, it's not like it's not like a top twenty band for me. Sure, but it's a lot of fun. For me, I enjoy them on like a weird sense of irony level. Like, yeah, to me, it's like just kind of like really try hard, tough guy music. But oh yeah, easy. But the way that. The way that it is written and the way that it is uh, delivered is really, really fun to me. So, like, I... It's like the few uh, Limp Biscuit songs uh, that sort of sort of pop up in my music rotation. Mm -hmm. I listen to them on that basis. Uh, not because I, you know, I genuinely like them, but because to me they're really stupid and funny. So... <laughs> you know what? That's honestly, like, really valid because... I, I don't go seeking out Limp Bizkit, but like there will be a couple songs from Limp Bizkit I actually really, really enjoy. Mm -hmm. But it's not Ooh, something that what like. The fuck? God damn! Outside okay. flip from Edge. Damn. Oh, Edge wants this bad. <laughs> he wants this bad. He is. He's down horrendous over this. <laughs> down horrendous. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, this is nearly five stars. Is that to say? Well, nearly uh, four, actually. Are we actually going to get, like, a five-star match out of this? Meltzer, are you going to be nice? <laughs> we will at least you get four be stars. Cool? It looks like. Hangman with the V-trigger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was a V-trigger, wasn't it? Hangman with one whole V-trigger. Two. Three. And Hangman versus The Undertaker in the finals. Wow. God damn. Okay, cool. You know, this right here... I'd watch the fuck out of this match, though. Oh, God. Yeah, easy. Like, like, in their primes. Like, if this was how Hangman is today versus, like, uh, Taker in, like, the uh, mid-2000s when he was just really fucking nuts... Banger. It'd be so fun. Five star. It'd be so much fun. It would be. <laughs> like just oh, this has to be WrestleMania. Are we going to Mania? Be going to Mania. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something then. I'm gonna do something that might get this stream clean, but I don't care. Okay. <laughs> what 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 are we doing? There was a specific uh WrestleMania stage that was made for the story mode, and this is it. Uh we'll go there. Okay. WrestleMania. You can you can tell where it takes place too. It takes place in Chicago. <laughs> Welcome to WrestleMania Chicago. It'll never happen. It'll never happen, will it? Why not? No, though? I, it's a big here's market. Here's the thing. I, I think it will, but I think what's going to end up happening because the Bears are getting a new stadium, um, and it has a big fucking roof on it. So when that stadium is done, I think it will ultimately end up happening. Okay. I'll probably say like maybe the 2030s that Chicago gets a WrestleMania. All right. Well, then I'll just need to stay alive for another seven years. And you know what? I'll go to WrestleMania. <laughs> Yay. I'm probably going to end up going to the Rumble in Tampa in January, maybe. So I'm going to I'm going to be a giant fucking dork. OK. Yeah. What are you doing? Fuck whatever music is playing here, right? Uh huh. Actually, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fuck Hangman's music that's put into this game. What was the last live event you went to? Uh, SummerSlam, actually. Uh, this year. 
I went to SummerSlam uh, this year in the Motor City, Detroit, and uh, <laughs> I have a fun story. I have a fun story. Mm-hmm. But first, before we do that, I need to fucking do the thing I said I was going to do. And that is say that uh, Monday is my birthday. I'm turning 24 on Monday. Uh, I am officially not getting any younger. But you know what? I'm spry. I'm very happy. I'm very happy with where things are going. And, uh, you know, we are going to celebrate in style with... A big old birthday stream right here. That's a big fucking image. Hold on a second. <laughs> I hope that it's just that fucking huge. We are doing a big old birthday stream on Monday. It's a big fat pony blowout. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to be watching old videos from that time period. Uh, we're going to be creating my first pony OC in, in like five years. <laughs> and we're going to do an appreciation presentation on one of my favorite episodes of the show. So, yeah, and we're going to have a bunch of old and new friends over there. It's going to be fun. Uh, Join us for that. It starts at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on October 2nd. That's on Monday. Uh, Creep show. Well, I'm unemployed, so I will be there. That is me, yes? You like ponies, don't you? Kind of. I do like, I do like, I do like um, Technicolor horses. Yeah, so you know what? You'll like this stream, and you'll like it, too, if you come if you come around and join us. So, yeah. You know what? I I ain't got shit happening on Monday. I will be there. <laughs> <laughs> Implying that if there's anything else going on. No, 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 no. It's fine. Nah. I get it. No, no, I will I will happily be there. Okay. Let's go. Now I need to I need to prep the nerdy thing that I'm doing. Prep the nerd thing you're doing. Whatever music this is that they gave Hangman, just forget it's it. It's so bad. Just forget it. It's not there. Instead. Instead. Fuck. Hey! <laughs> Fuck you, Zach. This is your problem now. <laughs> I kid. It's my problem. It's too good. It it's is, though. Good. It's way too good. And here comes the Undertaker. It's two cowboys beating the fuck out of each other. It really oh, is just two cowboys boy. beating the fuck out of each other. Yeah. There we go. I needed to do that. That was mandatory. <laughs> Oh, who is your favorite pro wrestler? Drip Prince says it is Wardlow. Mine, my favorite of all time. <sighs> of all time, probably Rey Mysterio. Okay. He is, in my opinion, completely and utterly timeless. There will never be another wrestler that kind of fills the hole that he fills, I feel like. Okay. Um, in current day, like if you pointed a gun to my head and like told me to like name someone in the next five seconds, I would say John Moxley. Um, I just enjoy just kind of the style that he brings. I enjoy the character that he possesses. Both, uh, they're both, sorry, both them as a wrestler and as a human being. Mm-hmm. And the same sort of thing is the same like with a uh, hangman page. And it's for that reason why they basically jockey for a position as my favorite person in AEW all the time. So. And Mox is just good, like all around. He's always he been just good. Like he's just such a fucking total package. He so. really is. Um, so if I can throw mine in here, because I think my number one of all time has changed. Um, so my 
favorite wrestler of all time um due to circumstances that have mm -hmm. happened in this year this whole year um a lot of things have happened so for many many <laughs> years i have said that cm punk is my favorite wrestler of all time yes i think it's time to move on from that yeah. um I, I i love cm punk to death i genuinely enjoy cm punk i think this last like year and a half has kind of ruined him it really <sighs> I, mean, I don't want to get like into that conversation if you don't want to get into it, but I do oh, agree. I it's really the past year, especially, has made it really hard to be a CM Punk fan, and that is no one else's fault but CM Punk. I feel like, yeah. I and mean, like, like I sorry, go ahead. To some extent, I would say that you know uh, people like Tony Khan are also a part of that too because he didn't act until things really started to hit the fan, and he felt. You know personally unsafe oh, but, oh same with, same with the elite because when you have a responsibility as as someone in corporate it's your responsibility for the best of the company to like mm -hmm. at least meet with the guy but i completely understand like if he's being that big of a dick that you don't want to but like you know you, you yeah, gotta yeah, at least like you gotta halfway. you gotta like you know, do what's best for the company um so with that said, and given that like he's kind of ruined his legacy with me, but like I'm, I'll always love the guy. Um, my favorite wrestler of all time, um, given his body of work and given the amount of impact that the guy has had on like my own personal creative endeavors, it's Bray Wyatt. I fucking adore Bray Wyatt. Um, I I think he was also like Bray Wyatt is one of the most creative, unique people to have ever done wrestling. Um, and I also feel like he was probably one of the most underutilized wrestlers of all time. He will and, always be one of the biggest what ifs, I feel like. Oh, same. I, I, I thoroughly believe that. Um, as for like current day, like favorite wrestler, <clears throat> it's it's Eddie Kingston. <sighs> yeah. That's, I, uh, I, that's a good shot. I fucking, I fucking love Eddie Kingston. My roommate, uh, he fucking always heard me uh, talk about uh, Kingston, and he was like, I don't know, man. But then, like, the moment that he picked up a mic, he was like, okay, I get it. <laughs> like, he's just, okay, here's here's Eddie Kingston's character. Oh, Fuck shit. off. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dr Prince. You are <laughs> you're new here. I thought I thought that was Ashley. That would based on the classic. That right there is an Ashley move. Mario Kart NES game, Super Mario Kart, the first. Oh, no, I would happily do that too, but I'm kind of invested in that match. 1997 is Mario Kart 64. So like, is that like a streak match? In what case, is this hey man page versus undertaker a streak match oh, oh fuck yeah no no don't <laughs> don't say sorry don't say sorry it's okay it's okay sideways into turns and maneuvers quickly around obstacles don't worry i would not have it there if i didn't want you to redeem it graphics only available with nintendo 64 since racing games I fucking love this game move at blistering speed what 64 here game systems oh yeah i i i love mario kart 64 i i genuinely think it's probably the best mario kart of the entire franchise oh, i don't know i don't know which nintendo 64 produces the graphics is a deluxe is pretty fucking awesome 75 megahertz also, literally, Eddie Kingston's character is like, he's just a dude, like, that's his character, but also he's a dude that can back it up in the ring, and, like, he has motives for why he's wrestling. Like, he has motives, like, he just wants a better life, he's just a fighter, and I fucking love him. Nice game footage. Oh, yeah, yeah, he just drives off course. Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Wario, Bowser battling each other in the wackiest racing game ever made. Mario, Mario Kart, Kart 64, 64 is fun to play, except, except when you're losing. losing. But the challenge lasts for about a week. <laughs> except when it's not going in your way. He spent this whole time bigging up the game and he's like, only racing fanatics should pick it up. Jesus Christ, dude. What the most unhinged reviewer ever. Yeah, I know. He's great, isn't he? Also, we still have a lot of people here. Thank you, thank y'all very, very much. I appreciate it. It was a, it, it has been a very, very good time. Hey, hey, speaking George, of, we have an ad. Spoilers. 
Raw rolls on. It's time for 90 it's seconds perfect. Cheetos break my dudes. All right, is it actually 90 seconds there, homunculus? I'm gonna time you. It's 60 seconds for some reason. Could be curious what the fucking ad is. Oh, it's for Honda Civic. Hey! <laughs> hey, a car commercial during a racing game. Come and get your 2024 Honda Civic. I could not script this even if I tried. <laughs> and we're done. Wait, that's it? I was that was it. Wow. Welcome back why to Raw, I guess. Why did, I, why did George want to spoil the ending of Sp fucking Mario Kart? What the, the fuck? What is there to spoil? You go up on the fucking pillars and then you get your trophy. Apparently he won his Yoshi. Yeah, but like, not everybody at that time is going to know that. Hmm. I mean, I like, guess so. I mean, fuck? like, this, this like aired like at the time. Uh, Super Mario Kart 64 came out. Sorry. Don't spoil little Billy who's trying to win his first race. <laughs> Part of me wants this to go on for like 15 minutes, but I don't think it will. Like, knowing... <laughs> knowing, <laughs> knowing... Knowing the AI will not go on for 15 minutes. Good job, Hangman. No, that's a 2K20 thing. Yeah. But you know what? It would be the worst 20 minutes ever. Oh god, awful. yeah, it would it would be a slog. Just like the speed of like 2K22 and 23 infinitely make it better than 20. Oh, easily. Yeah. Like there's a lot more speed and it feels like that they found a good balance between like a fast-paced fighter and a wrestling sim. So. Ah. Oh. Nice move there, Hangman. <laughs> good job, Hangman. Good job. Good job, buddy. What the hell is this? What the hell is this, like, a guillotine choke here? Like an inverted guillotine? Team, yeah, yeah. I sometimes forget how huge Taker is. Yeah, Taker's a fucking mountain of a man. Oh, he's giant. I think he Either. wanted to do, um, after college, he wanted to do basketball, but he's like, no, fuck it, I want to wrestle. <laughs> he probably could have been okay at basketball if he, if he like, committed. Nah, Either that's what he wanted to do. Much, much happier with wrestling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! It it is two thousands taker. Holy shit! Let's go. It it is okay, the two thousands sure. taker. Holy shit! Here we go. Here we go. Now we have a match on our hands. Come on, Hanger. You can do it. At Leaving WrestleMania. <laughs> you got the biggest spotlight. Let's go. You got the biggest spotlight in the business. Uh, let's do it. The business. Uh. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Here we, go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Don't choke. Don't choke now. One. One! One! That's all that he's willing to oh get god. out of The Undertaker. Oh my god, D don't taunt in front of The Undertaker. What are you doing? Not to say, at Mania too. Whoa, Kip up! <laughs> I swear to god, there, there was a sign that popped up and I thought it said, um, WWE books, but no, it says WWE rocks. <laughs> I swear to god, I thought it said books! This sign brought to you by Vince McMahon. Come on. Read my oh. books. Come on. Taker's like, you're only getting a one out of me, kid. Is one, he going to try it again? Yep. Is he going to try it again? No? You can't be playing mind games with the dead man at Mania, Paige. You're in his house. Let's this say, is his place. <laughs> you walked right into his inner sanctum and you're just going to fuck around? You can't be doing that. No, you, tombstone! You were... Immediately! Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, but rope break. Rope break under the ropes. There you go. It oh. saved him. Oh, the rope break saved him. Rope break saved his ass. Oh, God. Ooh. Come on. Woo! Beautiful. 
V trigger. <laughs> v trigger. <laughs> what? Roll up. Small package. One, <laughs> two. I was going to say, don't, 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 don't end this on a fucking small package. Hey, man, learned that one down in Jacksonville. <laughs> I learned this in Florida. <laughs> Come on. Wait, wait, I need I need music. Come on. Mario and Luigi, baby. I need to play that to play those games. Oh, Bowser's Inside Story is one of my favorite RPGs of all time. I love it to pieces. Come on, Hangler. Well, uh, he's like barely done anything to Undertaker. Too. He's barely done anything to Undertaker. All right, come on, Taker. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Either that or Hangman needs to get back in this. <laughs> oh, hey, and we've got color. Hangman's just getting this shit wrecked, dude. Taker, are you going to dive again? You are! Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> and he lands! He sticks it! He fucking sticks that landing, dude. <laughs> he fucking, like, atomic leg drops fucking Hangman on the outside, yeah. on the floor. What the hell? Oh, my God. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. I love that he was just like, I'll let you get in. <gasps> oh, shit. Reversal. Come on. Let's go. V trigger. <laughs> oh, shit. Busting out those moves he learned in Jacksonville and the stomps in the corner. Oh, God. Oh, God. Taker's caught by surprise. He's caught by surprise. And Hangman's finally getting some offense in after so long. We're gonna break his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and finally oh. yellow body. Finally yellow body on the dead man. Does Taker does Taker get an unwritten stat boost if it's at Mania? No, 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 no. I mean like Undertaker is just like a 95 overall. He's tough. So Ta no, Taker's he always been like a really hard to beat character in most WWE games. Yeah, I know. Paige respects the streak. One! One! That must be disheartening after all the punishment Hangman's taken in this matchup. God, here we go. Oh, oh, do we finally? Oh, I thought we were going to finally get our first buckshot of the entire night. What the hell? No. Were you trying to, were you trying to catch him for? Oh, shit. Here we go. Choke slam. Choke slam. One. One. Two. Two. Ah. Oh. He can't take any more hits like that, Creep Show. Here we go. Oh, God. Undertaker's just, just setting him up. Oh. In the corner. Mm. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, slug to the back. Oh, no, here he's setting go. up. He's setting up the lariat. Come on. What? A kick. <laughs> okay, cool. What? He just slugged up the buckshot. What the oh, God. hell? Good Lord. Oh, this is actually really competitive. <sighs> you had a uh, 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 no! Hanger, you can't do this. Boom! Here we go. Rope break. It's time, it's time to put the baby rope to break. bed. Oh! Oh my god. Hangman saved by the ropes once again. 
He's still in this match somehow, some way. He still has a chance. Oh my god. Undertaker, what the fuck are you to doing? To the top. Oh my goodness. Good lord. Does Hangman have any more fight Yes! Left? Oh, he does! Oh, he has a little bit! <clears throat> you gotta hit a big move. Something. Anything. Buckshot! What? What the fuck was that? Where the hell is the buckshot lariat? Come on, give me a buckshot lariat. You will not win this match if you don't pull out a big move right now. What the hell was that? Overdrive? You can't be using overdrives now, Hangman. That sucks. Oh, Crossbody. Oh, Is he setting oh, it up? Oh, 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 oh. What are you oh, doing? No. Oh no! What the fuck are you doing, Adam? Just watching him the entire time. Just do a thing. How many times can the not trying but really sounding like a commentator? You know what? <laughs> I appreciate you think that. I'm trying my best. All these shots to the back of the head. Hey man needs to hit something oh. big. It cannot it cannot just be stray shots. You and won't put down the DDT's dead man at WrestleMania kicked. with just straight shots like this. V-Trigger! -trigger. Does Adam Page do it? Does Adam Page have enough to put away The Undertaker? More he keeps doing this. Wait. Come on! Oh, God. shot Lariat! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Cover! Is this it? One, One two, two No Oh shit This is awesome Bam 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 Chat can I get some this is awesome chance Where the fuck is <laughs> Holy shit I, also love, I, I love that the Undertaker flipped on that buckshot too. I know no. Oh, the running power slam again. You're not putting away the Undertaker at Mania that Come easy. No, you are not. That's not. This is awesome, Chance. Oh, God. <laughs> just beeling him all over the ring. Oh, Jesus. Stay down. Saying, stay down, Hangman. But we've seen Hangman in situations like this before. He will never say die. It doesn't matter. A Here third we go. tombstone. Third one. <laughs> A third tombstone. Calco Proctor. Scotty, hello. Scotty, how you doing, my friend? We're no, we are in the finals of Hangman this tournament. Is, Hangman's going to lose this. He's he's so done. He's so done. Oh, my God. One, is this it? Two. Two. To the pay window. Three. Creep show wins. Wow. Good God. It's a drag. Looks like Hangman got hung out to dry. You know what? Here's what Bane thinks of that one. Oh. Takes a long drag of a cigarette. Was it good for you too, chat? I want to run that back. <laughs> Holy shit. I want to run that shit back. That was so good. That the was so good. What a way to end this tournament. And the greatest wrestler of our favorites, The Undertaker. The Undertaker. Wins at WrestleMania against a very, a very defiant Hangman Adam Page.
I'm and not if gonna we know lie, anything. I was really hoping Hangman would walk out with this one. Alas, he came up short to the dead man. And if we know anything about Hangman, this won't be the last. <laughs> He'll be back. A very game Adam Page. You know what we have to do now, right? What? We have to do the wrestlers we don't like. <laughs> At some point, we need to revisit this concept again and just do the ones that we do not care for. You're so right, though. You're so fucking right. Like, the least favorites. Like, we got to throw in a Eugene or a fucking Mike Knox or something like that. Or a Duke the Dumpster Drozzy. I'll go and get Big Josh from WCW. <laughs> Big Josh? <laughs> I finally finished work. Hey, hey, hey there, Fizzy. If you're just in time. For the special bonus match, what? The special bonus, baby. The special bonus matchup. Uh, so. I don't even know the special bonus matchup, what? So Character Creations has a lot of weird stuff in it, right? Yes, it does. It's got wrestlers from every single company. It's got celebrities. It's got fictional characters. But, did you know that it had... What the fuck? I saved it. Hold on. Oh, oh no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just, just pretend you're not seeing any of this. Pretend you're not seeing any of this. Okay. Just pretend. Cue, cue Spanish flea. Shut da, your da, eyes. Da, 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 da. I'm not looking. Better. Da, 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 just, just tell me what open. Da, 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 okay. Da. By the way, Chad, my eyes are actually closed. I am like. <laughs> Can I not download him? Oh, no. No. No, it was going to be so funny. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can I open my eyes? Yes. Well, what? Oh, no. We can't download Gengar. No, I can't. Damn it. No, my one of my top three favorite wrestlers of all time and my favorite Pokemon of all time. Can I download anyone else or am I just like overloaded on this shit now? There you go. You got, you got Dominic. Can I download Dominic Mysterio? Yes, I can, apparently, but I can't Why download Gengar. Why not Gengar? What the fuck? <sighs> well, damn it. Okay, well, you know what? We have a fucking contingency plan, okay? Wait, 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 wait. Ashley, you're on to something? Give me a second. I gotta get the juices flowing, but first I need to download, uh... I need to, I need to, uh, download a convicted felon, Dominic Mysterio. <laughs> Just give me you know, a second. No, what we need is, um, we need Gira and Henry versus Pretty Deadly. Oh, yeah, you, you fucking said it. There we go. Now listen. Can Can the Undertaker beat one of the greatest WWE champions of our <laughs> of our times? F -f -f for life. life. <laughs> oh Lanity, God, yeah. You. Thank you very much for following. You're now a member of the Long Boy Club for life. Let me talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Hold on. Fucking love that name. Where is the Undertale? L oh, oh, L.A. Knight. Yeah. <laughs> Let me they talk to you. Can he defeat Henry the Cat <laughs> at WrestleMania? A 79 overall cat. <laughs> Can he do it? Hmm. Are we able to do that? Hello, Mario. <laughs> I'm sweating. You're sweating over. You're su you're su <laughs> you're sweating over Henry. You know that's very easy to do. I have to say he's a he's a very commanding presence. Speaking of, I still have his WrestleMania entrance. Oh no! <laughs> Everybody, all rise! Please stick your right index finger in the air and acknowledge your tribal cat. The commander-in-chief. 
acknowledge your cat? I would, but he's not in the room right now. The fucking zipper. The zipper. The zipper's great, yeah. Who's underneath the costume? Well, we do have a couple options. We Wait, have ourselves one. The Rock. And just... And just like that, half of the Mania audience is in cinders. <laughs> just, just completely burnt to a, burnt to a crisp. Mm hmm. Hi, Henry. Are you ready to face the Undertaker? There's that cat. There's that cat. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> I will Come give on, it, Henry. I'll give it two minutes. Dun, 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 dun. I will make it's a list of wrestler, of like eight wrestlers I don't like, and I will happily revisit this again. All right. <laughs> the only the only rule I I specifically <laughs> would make for like wrestlers we don't like, nothing that's like an like over overtly offensive gimmick or anything like that. <laughs> James Ellsworth under the suit. James Ellsworth. <laughs> The chinless weirdo wonder. And I and I say that not in terms of appearance, but in terms of the dude's an actual fucking weirdo. What do you do? Oh, he was so he was never found guilty of this, but like um there was a lot of reports when he got released by WWE that like, oh he's texting weird shit to minors, but like it was someone impersonating him. Oh, you know, fun shit. Fun, <laughs> you deserve shit. it. What? <laughs> what the beating that he's getting from Undertaker? Jesus! Oh my God! Undertaker just throwing caution in the wind. Oh man, I, I really I, should I, have I, given him like yellow body damage to start out. <laughs> come on, come on, Henry. The Undertaker eat the dent. No, 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 no! Don't eat Henry. What? Oh, Henry's great. Don't don't eat the cat. Henry's good. I'll I'll have you know that he's a former WWE and Intercontinental Champion and UK and, and um, NXT UK and Heritage Cup Champion. So was it Henry also an Intercontinental Champion? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, he was an IC Champion. Oh, okay. You did. You did. I was like, what the fuck? He's doing no damage to Undertaker. V oh, V Trigger v again. <laughs> The Mew trigger. By the way, I completely forgot to say this. Um, did you know um, the word kayfabe is now an official word? Official word in the dictionary. Is it really? Yeah, kayfabe is officially a word in the dictionary. What else became a word? Did he bust um, Undertaker open? Oh my god, you did! <laughs> Even Hangman Page couldn't do that. <laughs> And like Undertaker has more damage on him right now too. By the way, um, the word Riz is now in the dictionary. Yep, along with, along with Simp, along with Simp, Padawan, Bussin, Mid, Nerfsin, Mid, Rage Quit, and Thirst Trap. Do we just have like new words added every year or something? Yeah, they added seven hundred new words and phrases to the diction. I'm glad that Riz and Simp and and Bussin are both in there. <laughs> the sauce is still I'm, not Bussin, by the way. Not Bussin. You sick fuck. You sick fuck. You sick fuck. <laughs> oh, by the way, for the absolute garbage wrestlers we don't like, um, it can be from any promotion. Like you can have like your entire list be WWE people if you want. Sure. I mean, like, let's 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 keep creeps out of there and let's just go for like either guys we like just genuinely don't like either either I genuinely don't like seeing or people that we don't really get, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's keep creeps out like, of there because, you know, that's that's easy. That's easy and also it doesn't. Yeah, I don't think it makes for like, you know, a good viewing experience. So CM Punk. I mean, fuck it. I'll put CM Punk on there. I have no fear. 
<laughs> like, and here's the thing. I, I love CM Punk, but like I'd put CM Punk in there. I would too. I, I, he, CM Punk is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. And my relationship with CM Punk as a fan is complicated. Mm -hmm. I don't know. How would you feel about like a Eugene in there? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that, that's where I'm like, uh, I don't know either. We can think about it during this ad break. Raw rolls on after this. In picture in picture. It's time for 90 seconds cheaters break, my dudes. It's 60 seconds today, homunculus. Let's get it right. What's the ad this time? I really hope it's for like, I don't know, litter or something. Cat litter. Nope, it's a Honda Civic again for 15 seconds. Henry can't drive a car. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, he can. No fear. No. No! <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck it, I'm pausing. I got the hug CM Punk and hold his AEW championship. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's actually really cool. Yeah. Rugrats. <clears throat> Yippee Kaye. Another street fight. Uh, I don't like this one. Oh, what the fuck is this one? This one's getting. Comes across this one's getting axed, but there is, the best part of the one, is not even in one really uh, cool part about it. We need to get through like two and a half minutes beforehand. From Killer Instinct oh the God, God, it's that long? Yep. Each character has enough moves, combos, moves, leaders, special attacks, <laughs> finishers. <laughs> I just, I just get somebody. super close to the mic. Moves? No, no, no. KI I got you. Moves. Remember our report on video game violence? Too bad we didn't have some footage of this little baby. The 3D graphic realism of KI makes the violence that much more noticeable. Oh yeah. Just look at how Tush just whacks this person to death with his sword. Ouch. Ouch. Isn't it interesting that even Ouch. Nintendo. If CM Punk is in the next one, can we have him wearing a ridiculously outdated No Fear t-shirt? I'm sure someone's made it. Commenting on whether or not the game is wrong. But it just makes us wonder why people actually spend eight months to beat a bunch of sprites into the ground when they can do it for free on a real live human being. Okay, turn off the tsk mechanism in your brain. It was a joke. What the fuck? Possessed by a cow for the moves. Sound like a revolution in gameplay. Yet, as with sports games, the real revolution involves only the amount of options which are added as you beat various. The creep show. What do you assign to to wrestlers in accordance to certain button combinations? I don't know. What do you assign certain wrestlers to certain button coordinations? That was a lot of words. The arcade mode is the only mode that will net you an ending. A mini ending first appears in the normal moves. A complete ending is available on hard, extra hard moves. The extra hard mode is exactly that. I don't know. I don't know why that stuck, but it did. I don't know how we did it, but we beat the game on extra hard. God, God, it peaks in like a minute and a half, and then the rest of it's just boring. This one's getting axed. KI seems to be a rush there will be none of these that are over like three minutes long. Very well, like that's my hard line. Zoom shot at the beginning of each battle. The gameplay isn't 3D. It's the only one that will no be is the control, is number eight, and that's like Final Fantasy moves, eight. So. <laughs> the game never once amazed us. Oh my god! This like 3D stop motion ish like <clears throat> fighting games. Yeah, no, I'm so sorry. I, I I'll play I'll, I'll, I'll play Primal Instinct. I'm all good. Primal Instinct. You ever heard of Primal Instinct? Who's spinning leg moves? Is sure not thinking Primal Rage? And powerful. Too bad the game isn't the same. Right, hold on. Now check out the <gasps> I because am like there's of primal, primal rage. rage and then there's killer instinct, which is what this one is. <laughs> no, I am thinking of primal rage. Damn it! <laughs> I love primal rage. I regret this redeem. This is the most anyone has ever had to say about killer instinct. <laughs> God damn. George Wood just has a lot to say about killer instinct, y'all. Oh my god, it's a skeleton! God, I want to kill him. I want to kill that skeleton. Every, every time I open up Twitter and see some of my VTuber friends, oh my god, it's a skeleton! <laughs> a lot of my VTuber friends are skeletons. Me when I see VTuber Twitter accounts that are inactive. <laughs> <laughs> there are, like, quite a few, too. Like, I, like, there's one that was, like, really getting big off the top of my head. Uh, have you ever heard of uh, going at all? No. No? 
No. Well, well, he was like getting like super big and then he just dropped out the face of the planet. He just stopped. Yeah, yeah, like he just stopped. And apparently, like, you know, he's <laughs> I mean, it isn't like he died. Apparently, like he he can still be found on Roblox, but what the fuck? But like it's really weird how like how like, you know, just one day people will just kind of stop. Yeah, no, I trace. It's funny because there, like there's a couple people um I got to know in the VTuber community when I when I first started, mm -hmm. and I haven't heard shit from them like since the very early days. I'm like, what happened to you? Y'all good? Mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, like I've been going for almost ten years. Yeah. So like yeah. So like the thought of just leaving one day is is kind of like something that won't happen you know <laughs> like that's not something that really comes into my mind so when someone actually does just kind of you know leave or leave without saying anything one day it's like oh yeah yeah that can happen <laughs> yeah i could i could never fucking um <laughs> yeah. I, I i i lost all train of thought yeah i could i could never fucking just like decide to stop doing this without like any word and just go huh, bye I mean it's valid if that's what you want to do but like it's I, just I could never do it yeah like I could never do it I love this just business like, no, thank uh... you. <laughs> <laughs> I love this business uh... too legit to quit <laughs> too legit oh too legit to quit oh Why the fuck is why the fuck is Henry giving more of a fight to the Undertaker than Hangman? <laughs> Shit, dude, I should have put Henry in this tournament. <laughs> to be fair, streaming isn't for everyone. It's taken me years to sort of get to a point where I'm actually confident. Oh no, 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 seriously. Oh, same, same. But, like, Honestly, I go ahead. But like the person I'm talking about, like they were like, you know, at least on, at least on camera, brimming with it, you know. Mm -hmm. And then they just decided. Yeah, that's enough. One day. Okay. Yeah, no, the, like there, there's sometimes where like you get oh, to a point where it's like ride. you know, the oh, last ride, last ride. I'm sorry, there was I another keep... Undertaker movie we didn't see like at all this entire tournament. We didn't see an old school. No, we didn't at all. I love the old school movie. It's stupid, but like I love it. <laughs> it may, it makes no sense really. Dude, oh. Wow. Cat gets out. Nine lives. <laughs> Nine lives. <laughs> oh. He's racking up those lives. Every, <laughs> every every single tombstone is one life lost on Henry. Oh no. He needs nine tombstones. I say they call it a tombstone for a reason. Mm hmm I love the Pokemon at the gym. I left a Pokemon at a gym that's been there for three days, and I'm like, are you coming home? No. <laughs> no, okay. I live on my own now, Dad. Like, fucking, um... Get out of here. Be gone. <laughs> yeah, I... Draw. I've been streaming for about four years, and it really felt like this year I kind of got to a point where I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm fucking comfy with this. Mm -hmm. And it, it takes a while, and it takes a lot of trial and error, really. It does. Uh, one thing I can kind of say. I. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, sh oh shit. Oh, oh GTH. <laughs> Two. Nah. Ah, oh, damn it. Beat the last lives out of him. A nine lives match. What would be the step? First person to perform their finisher nine times wins. Oh god. Now that's now that's a TNA idea right there. Fucking Brock Lesnar would win that match easy because that's all his entire move says. It's just his finishers. It's his finishers, it's like German suplexes, it's maybe it's maybe a submission hold now and then. Phenomenal forearm. What the hell have and, I been feeding this thing? And some and some F fives here and there. Mm -hmm. It is mostly error. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, 
I mean, like, especially, like, when you're starting out, most of it is going to be error, I think. Mm -hmm. Like, even now, like, I've been at it for, like, you know, like, 10 years, and I've gone through a few different sort of uh, reinventions. I used to be a Brony reviewer. I mean, obviously, I'm not that now. <laughs> but, uh... I, like, even when I became a VTuber and wanted to, you know, have a bit more privacy, it still took me, like, I don't know, a year before I finally found, you know, sort of a, the thing I wanted to... Rather, the thing I wanted to sort of do with this. Which yeah. is which is mostly wrestling stuff, and kind of kind of uh, creating like my own little <laughs> and my own little uh, stories uh, within the games, or rather of uh, whatever I want to do. So, oh shit! And oh, oh god. back oh backstabber, jeez. Oh god. Oh. God. If if you're about to tell me a cat is about to beat the Undertaker instead of Hangman Page, I am going to lose my shit. I think that a cat is about to beat the Undertaker instead of hanging that out of page. God <laughs> damn it. Cesaro. What the hell? <laughs> Why? Why the cat? Let's go, Henry. Da 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 da. Here we go. go Henry. Here we go. Oh shit. Get fucked. <laughs> one, one, two. No, oh, come on. What the shit? This is actually like competitive. It's really weird. What I don't. The fuck. I don't know what to make of this. Brock Lesnar's under. Hello, Mario. Hey, Zircon Kors. How are you doing? How are you doing? I haven't seen you here for a bit, actually. Bada hopefully boom. All, How hopefully you doing? all is well with you. But no, like, I think a big thing is, like, you have to be comfortable with failure first and foremost. You know? Because, like, your own personal growth as a creator does not come unless you experience, rather, like, uh, try new things and experiment, like, with the things you like. So. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Is Undertaker going to put this away? Damn. I will actually shit bricks if Henry wins this. Feline fighter. Low-key, low key, I'll be very fucking mad for Hangman. You'll be mad for Hangman. Like, what the fuck? At least soften him up, you know? Ah, uh, fair. Undertaker, is this how you're gonna win at WrestleMania? Come on, man. Not like this. Anything there like this. <laughs> Ooh. Joke. Tame. I just, I just love the idea that, like, Undertaker's beating up a guy in a fursuit. Here. Oh, roll up! Oh, here we go. One, here we go. Two. Okay. I really, the, really uh, thought it would have been fitting if he won the match that way. Cue the intro for "It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia," and it just says Undertaker <laughs> goes to goes to Fur Fest. <laughs> goes to Midwest Fur Fest. Also, damn that that startled me. <laughs> fruit fruit roll up. Fruit roll up. Henry is giving Taker all he can take. No, fruit roll-up is if I perform a small package. <laughs> God, here we go. Undertaker, are you going to finish off the cat? Please don't. One, two, yeah. three. Oh, oh, shit. That took so much effort. What the fuck? Undertaker, it's a furry. <laughs> it's a furry. <laughs> you, didn't, you, you didn't need to go that hard. Undertaker can take many things, but one thing he couldn't take, at least initially, is a fursuiter. <laughs> oh, God. He 
clawed the shit out of Taker's. He really did. You really like you can see the claw marks. Instant classic. God, I that Hangman Undertaker match. I don't think I've ever been on the edge of my seat watching a fucking wrestling match in a video game. <laughs> but there you like, go. What the shit? But there you go. That just speaks. Beautiful. Ten out of ten. That speaks to the talent on display of the greatest wrestlers in the world. Uh, Easily. Hangman Easily. Adam Page, The Undertaker, and Henry the Cat. <laughs> Those top three. Uh, cue that meme that people pull up of The Rock and John Cena's promo before their match. <laughs> Our voices in the air. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Whispers song. in my ear. Nothing can compare. Yeah. Uh, Fuck you, Machine Gun Kelly. Was that Machine Gun Kelly? It was Machine Gun Kelly. That's 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 impossible. He's only been around for like five years, right? No, he's been around for like a decade. <laughs> you wouldn't know it. Yeah, no, fucking Machine Gun Kelly like, like was just doing doing shit and then randomly like WWE just... was like, hey, do you want to do the music for Rock and Cena? A fucking okay, sure. You fucking... You cannot tell me that he hasn't been around for more than five years. It doesn't feel like that he's been around for more than five years. Oh yeah, Damn. no, here's the thing. He's been around for like over a decade, but like he's just such shit that like people only paid attention to him within the last five years. People only paid attention to him like when he when he switched genres. What? I I hate to say it. I think Eminem like roasting him so hard he went to a different genre was like what made him famous. It is. It is what made him famous. Hi, I'm hi, I'm Machine Gun Kelly. I was scared out of rap by Eminem. <laughs> like any connoisseur. Uh but yeah, oh, that is the that fun was... tournament that we put together in like a weekend. <laughs> we did it. Thank you. I meant to I meant to make the bracket last night, but I fucking goofed and I did this in 30 minutes. You know this what? Morning. You know what, Create Show? That's fine yeah. because your winner of the best bracket of our favorite wrestlers of all time bracket is the undertaker. It's it's, it's the goddamn undertaker mm. out of all these colorful cast of characters. The undertaker stood above them all. Uh, that's just going to give him a larger legends contract. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Creep show. This was a lot of fun. It was it was a blast. It was a blast. If you're rating, if you're if you're about to rate out, I've got somebody for you. Give me give me the somebody. Uh, this is and there. first off, let me make, uh, yeah, before, before we uh, finalize that, thank you everyone for fucking hanging out with us on this night. This was an incredible experience. Oh hey, oh hey, I've rated into Mister Cool. We can do that. Mister Cool's great. Hell yeah. But yeah, we will go ahead and we will uh, rate out to him. Thank you, everyone, for fucking joining us. This was so much fun. Um, it wouldn't have been nearly as fun without y'all. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you, chat. Um, I will be back on Monday with the My Little Pony uh, birthday blowout uh, a Bonanza extravaganza stream. Um, it's going to be Bonanza great. Extravaganza. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. We're going to make a character. We're going to watch old videos. We're going to appreciate uh, probably one of the most pivotal things in my life as a creator. So, hell yeah. yeah. Hopefully you uh, join me and all of my colorful cast of friends for that. Uh, let's start the raid. Hell yeah. As usual, long boy club love. We're going to dump it all onto Mr. Cool, who is playing this fucking ice cube, who is playing N.A. right now. <laughs> what? Oh, he's playing what? demo discs like he's just playing PlayStation demo disc just for the fuck of it. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, that seems fun. OK, well, you know what? We'll go ahead and and drop in on him then again. Thank you all so much. I'll see you Monday. I have been Giraffistev, the very large enjoyer of all things gaming and wrestling, the president of the Longboy Club, and 
that has been creep show right down there Hello, that's me. first off i'm going to shout you out real quick go for so, it i i like to stream um i like to stream older games i i do a lot of retro stuff i put i have an unhealthy Fortnite addiction um sometimes here and there <laughs> and i love pro wrestling sure hell does. yeah you should definitely sub to her because she is one of my closest friends in VTubing, and I really, really appreciate her. So, my my incredibly gay heart, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys Monday. Bye. Bye.